Darren, he's got some race sheets here. We've got the first lot ready to rock and roll. And we're okay, Warren, to... we, in this gate, we've got Cody Crampton, Heath Wilson, Taylor Thomas, Emily Slater, Bo Bateman, Brody Wilson, and Zara Sprout. Okay, beautiful. Okay, Mini Wheelers, are you ready? Steady. Pip, 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 go! Gate drops out. We go, folks. Here we go. Watch them rumble down the thirst right there. Crampton, Wilson, Thomas Slater, Bateman, Wilson too as well. That's right, folks. The state titles has launched off with the mini wheelers. You've also got Zara Sprite working hard up and over through the field. I tell you what, the excitement in the field, having a great time. Round they go, the second corner, last corner, they're working hard, up and over like a singing sewing machine. These are the mini wheelers flying through the field. Crampton, Wilson, Thomas, all through the field here, working hard nicely. Great work in there as we fire through the line all the way down. It's a 998 machine. Crampton, the 89 machine too as well. That's going to be Bateman, the 156, Zara Sprout. Then the 266, Superstar. That'll be the 286, that's Wilson. The 1082, flying through the field. Oh, I've slowed it. Don't forget the number 19 of Summer Thomas. We've got one down, but hopefully he's okay or she's okay. Great work there. That was Moto 1 of the Mini Wheelers. Okay, let's get going with Moto 2 of our Mini Wheelers. Without any further ado, we've got Alicia Bound, Fletcher Pollard, Jacob Ayo, Solomon Collingwood, Miles Delosti, and Piper McDonald. Are you guys ready? Teddy, go! Oh, the 165 got the early jump there. That'll be Alicia Bound. Oh, but here comes Piper McDonald. She's hard on the, uh, well, not really on the cranks, but on the feet as she hammers down that first straight. We've also got Delosti, Collingwood, Ayerst in there as well as they come down to the mini wheeler corner while the 25 machine of Brody finishes off his, his lap. But looks like it might be, let's grab some numbers, looks like it might be Alicia still in the lead. So it's Alicia Bowen still in the lead. Piper McDonald chasing her hard. We've also got the 99 machine, Fletcher Pollard is in there on the three spot. As they hammer down towards the line, it's going to be the 165. Alicia Bound grabs the mini wheeler of race two from Piper McDonald. Fletcher Pollard free wheels through in that third spot all the way through. And they're followed home by Jacoby, Solomon and Miles. Well done there, guys. Over to you, Dr. Phil and Steve. We're going to fire through very shortly as a lock and load for the Sprocket Rockets. Gate slams down on the five and under Sprocket Girls and they get away sweetly. Look at them go. You've got Eva Kelly, you've got Jovi Benning, you've got Mon Man Montana Rogers, Penny Simmons, Esther Daff and Eva Sylvester. So let's pick them up as they come round here. It's Eva Kelly out in the lead, the little South Australian. Then it's the 154, the Victorian Penny Simmons. And then it's Eva Sylvester with the tiger ears on. Grah, listen to her roar as she comes around here. But it's Eva Kelly. She is flying. Look at her go, the little South Australian champion. And she is leading them a merry dance. Penny Simmons doing a great job there. The 154 on the plate. You've got Eva Sylvester in there from New South Wales. She is Miss DRT. If you want to get over there and check out all that, merchandise have come down from New South Wales has a bit of a look back does Eva Sylvester don't know what's going on there as we come around you've also got Jovi Benning doing a great job Montana Rogers of course and Esther Dath but I tell you what Eva Cully she is flying the little South Australian she is going to cross the line first here today on the Saturday for the Sprockets, Eva Cully from South Australia. She's going to take it out. And then it looks like we've got Penny Simmons there. She's in the two spot. And I'll tell you what, an awesome three spot to little Eva Sylvester. Meanwhile, five and under Sprockets, Moto 1, gate uh, 1, out and about now. It's gate 2. So we've got Ryder Brooks in the uh, Dayglow colours out in front, smashing it apart in the two spot. Mitchy Sala from the Knox Club in Victoria. In for three, Jarrah Benning from Victoria as well, but looks like trying to make a move. One on the inside, one on the outside. Here they come. It's going to be Peter Fry, is it? No, it's still Jarrah Benning. Round the outside, Mitchy Sala going to have to go to the inside to defend. Takes the high line and sets the two, but I tell you what, Jarrah gets the, th the backside there, gets the pace, takes the two. So it's one Ryder Brooks, two Jarrah Benning, and three Mitchie Sala.
Okay, more five and under sprocket action. It's the boys this time again. Here we go. Noah Bateman got off to a cracking start. He's in the one spot. I think Freddie Coote there might be in the two. You've got Nasheel Lloyd as well. You've got Owen Slatter. You've got Nicholas Salau and Zachary Vincent. So as they come down here, the uh, third straight, Noah Bateman, the 154 on the plate. Young Victorian, look at him go. He is flying. Then we get to the 132. That is Freddie Coote in the two spot. And then we go back to the 88 of Dashiel Lloyd. But I tell you what, he's being swamped at the moment. The 126, Zachary Vincent and the 20 of Nicholas Salau doing a great job also Owen Slatter but out in the lead Noah Bateman's going to cross the stripe first from Coote and Lloyd Gate slaps we've got our six Brocket girls on the way this is race number six Lucy McDonald, Felicity Hibbert, Ivy Rollins, Isabella Crampton and Briley Woolley. Looks like it's the 60 machine of Ivy Rollins from New South Wales. She's got the whole shot as she heads down the second straight. The 40 machine of Isabella Crampton. She's in there for the two spot. We've got a Northern BMX rider in there as well. That looks like Lucy McDonald. And then we've also got Woolley and Hibbert in there for good measure. But it looks like Rollins now. She heads into the Warrnambool corner. She's taken on that difficult third straight. She's got the 40 machine of Crandon for company. She's from South Australia. McDonald's in there for a fighting third as well. As they come down into the headwind now on that third straight. It's the 60 machine. Ivy Rollins from New South Wales dives into the last corner. These are our six sprockets doing it for fun and participation as they come down to the finish line. It's the 60 machine. Rollins is going to grab this from Crampton and hey, McDonald. Meanwhile, six sprocket boys out and about a full gate here in the lead. Cooper Murray from South Australia. He's gone like last week's paycheck. Then we drop. It's uh, Elzac Sylvester from New South Wales in the two. Coming through now, Jude Daff from uh, South Australia in for the three. Challenging Sylvester for the two. Makes the move, swoops it on the inside, side by side. Murray gets the one. And it looks like Daff has now gone over the top to take the two, followed by Sylvester for three. Okay, more action here. The six Sprocket boys, and it looks like Bodie Cantona got the best of that one. Uh, Wilfred McKibben there in the two. Matthew Gill could be back in three. You've got Ty Classens, you've got Hamish Pollard, Jackson Jones, and Ryan Hall. So as they come down here, Bodie Cantona, the South Australian, look at him go. The 58 on the plate. He's opened up about five or six bike lengths on the rest. Then it is Wilfred McKibben, but I tell you what, there's a lot of action there coming on his tail. Ryan Hall doing a good job, along with Matthew Gill. So as we sit sail for home, Bodie Cantona. No, it looks like he's got this one wrapped up. Wilfred McKibben might just hang on for the two, and it might be Ryan Hall for the three. Six Brocket boys, gate three, heading into the second corner. Joey Rogers is leading the way. He's got uh, Liam Steenloff in the two spot, Hudson Baker in the three spot. In this, we've also got Zane Payton, Kobe Brunt, and Lucas Sturzacker and Mitchell Osborne. But it's Rogers. From Steenloff, now the 2-2-1 machine of Osborne. He snuck into that third as they come down the third straight there. They can see the finish line. Joey Rogers is going to grab this one. He's going to be chased home by Leon Steenloff from Victoria. And then Mitchell Osborne in for three. Meanwhile, seven Sprocket girls out and about, and it's a ding-dong race. Lacey Gray having to work hard on the second straight to cement the one. In for two, Jacqueline Waters, and around the outside, Gracie Peergrace goes from three to two with a ripper. Third berm. She's got her eyes on Lacey now as they're coming down the final straight. 25 to go. Lacey Gray out in front. Gracie Peergrace closing it down. Jacqueline Waters. Gracie Peergrace over the top takes the win on the last straight. Seven Sprocket boys out there. Miles Davies got off to a cracking start, as did Aidan Ashcroft. And they'll pick up the third place rider. It looks like it's a 3 3 2 5 of Tyler Wood. So uh, there's your 1 2 3. Pretty tight up the pointy. Davis and Ashcroft going at it. Davis, Ashcroft, Ashcroft coming home. Davies looks like he's going to get it. Davies gets it from Ashcroft and Wood. Seven boys. This is race 12 as I head down the second straight. We've got Way, uh, Cade McNamara from South Australia, the World 8 leading the way. Darcy Fraser from SA chasing him pretty hard. We've also got Driscoll, Drone, Jones and Chalice. Brown had a bit of a tumble on the first straight, but he's up and about. Harry Chalice is sneaking into that third spot. He's cranked the whole third straight to do that. But it's Cade McNamara from South Australia who's going to grab Moto 1 from Darcy Fraser. The drag race is on for the finish, but it looks like Chalice is going to hold on. Levi Brown had a mechanical on the first straight, but he's up and about. He'll be back 
next moto. Jackie's got a piece of his bike. <laughs> oh, un unlucky for Levi. I think his pedal came off. So I think Jackie, uh, the rider's advocate, had to pick something off the track and now walking off. So lucky it's not a clip, eh? Flat pedals. Meanwhile, <laughs> seven Sprocket boys out about Alexander, Lowry, McCurry, Hazelwood, Fowler and Nolan in the mix. Looks like it's going to be Fowler from New South Wales leading the charge on this one. Oh, I tell you what, the 200 of McCurry rails the berm like he's a pro rider coming into the two spot. Then it looks like it's going to be uh, from Tasmania, Hazelwood in the mix as well. But out in front, Harley Fowler, the New South Welshman leading the charge. Nice position into this uh, second berm. Nice and smooth now down the technical third straight McCurry settling nicely in there for the two spot followed by Hazelwood from Tasmania in the three there's a move coming around the outside Clay Nolan goes to the four with a ripper third straight he settles that nicely but it's going to be a whole shot to home Harley Fowler New South Wales in for two Tyson McCurry okay last of our sprockets here Moto one gate four you've got the seven boys sprockets you've got Shields Brown Delost, Foe, Hajnal and Gill. And your leader at the moment is Chase Foe. He's doing a great job. The 68 on the plate. He is leading them down. Then we go back. Looks like Roman Brown there on the inside. On the outside of him and fighting hard, Lucas Hajnal. And then we go back to the 170 of Archie Shields. Then it's the uh, 16 of David Gill. And rounding them out there is Ryan Delost. But it uh, looks like Chase Foe is going to take this one all the way down. You've got Roman Brown's going to get the two spot. Lucas Hajnal for the three. And uh, Shields. Then we go back to uh, Delost and Gill. Great racing from our seven Sprocket boys. Oh, folks, here we go. The start of the 8 to 12 girls cruise there. Mudder one there. Looks like Alexander's got the snap out of the gate. Have a look at the powerhouse there with the number 41 on the plate. Next up there is going to be the six feet there. Lily Corbett locks for the two spot. The three, two, seven. That's Harley Stokes. I'll tell you what, she's a local girl too as well. Working hard. Then you've got Pickens in the mix too. So there, your top four riders. They work around the Warnable corner. Have a look at the speed of Alexander right now. Got the powerhouse down through the third straight. Let's see what's going to happen there but it looks like it's going to be a nice smooth sailing all the way through. It is going to be Alexander on the 40 on machine. Then you've got through the 6V, Lily Corbett locks for the 2. The 3 two, seven. the mix here is going to be Harley Stokes as well, working hard. They head around the last corner and they're heading for home. The drag race is all the way through the field. But it'll be Alexander followed by Corbett, Stokes, and then Sheridan Pickett all the way from SA. There's your 1, 2, 3, 4 finish. Now, quick pause, folks, as we've got to make sure the transponders are working spot on. As this is the first transponder the race. Gate drops. Eight to ten boys cruiser. Great jump there from lane five. That'll be Cameron Gat. He's got Caden Underhill for company as well. Zayko Baines in this. We've also got Tyler Hall with a move into third at this first corner here. Jaden Pickens in there from SA. We've also got Ashton Smith as Cameron Gatt jumps into the second corner. So at the moment it's Gatt from Underhill, from Hall. That's your three as they come down that third straight. Gatt with a beautiful bit of manual work there as he comes down to the third corner. Oh, there you go. Hall's challenging for that two spot now. Underhill now back to three. As they head down for the line, it's going to be Cameron Gatt's going to grab this one. Tyler Hall's going to grab the two. Caden Underhill for three. Gate, sl gate slams, eight to ten boys cruises, and I tell you what, Regan Shafter got a great start, went from eight to one and a rocket, but leading the charge Jesse Paul from South Australia Shafter settling into the two, Brooks has got some work to do, so we've got a 5A a 1A on the 20 inch with the 8, 8, 7 on the plate as Brooks trying to make the move on Shafter, but he can't quite make it, stick high lows at their side by side, it's Jesse Paul South Australia leading this one, Shafter now looks like he's got the two stitched and it looks like Brooksy there for the three and a big move on the last second straight here. Jacob French from Tasmania moves to four. But I tell you what, the 5A on the plate, Jesse Paul from South Australia takes it out. Shafter two, Brooks three.
Eight to ten, Cruiser Boys. Good start by Samuel Ives, the 2A. He gone with him is Max Castle, the 8A. Then you've got the young uh, ace race champion, Phoenix Devers, in the three spot. But Jakey Taplin's right on his hammer. And then we go back to Billy Van Hout. So it's a world-class field here, that's for sure. And they're looking good. Samuel Ives, though, has opened up a big gap. Then we go back to uh, Max Castle. Stevens holding on for three. And it looks like the four belong to Taplin and Billy Van Hout. So uh, as we go over the line, that is Ives, Castle and Stevens. Oh, folks, here we go. Back on the gas. 11 to 12. Boys cruise there. One sound. Hopefully it's okay. That's going to be uh, not too sure. Okay. Murray, Preston Murray there, hopefully it's okay, but let's have a look at the front runners right now. As we work there, Mars got hit in the air in the two as well. Let's have a look, as a powerhouse down there. The 8V looks like it's working through the dial. That's going to be Jackson there, nicely done there. Then you've got Perkins, Hines there, top two. Woolley goes in for the four spot, super working there. Make some noise there for the fall and rise, hopefully okay. But I tell you what, the powerhouse today will be Max Jackson all the way from Tassie. Show your appreciation there for the 420. Freeman from SA, then you've also got plate number 411, that's going to be Cade Marsh too as well, he's back on the bike, but the person right now is at the 4A from Preston Murray. Come on guys, show your appreciation there for the two fallen riders. Gate slaps, gate two of our 11 to 12 boys cruiser. Josh Jolly had the early jump from Glane seven. This is his 10th Victorian state titles. Oh, we've got a sailor in there as well. Two sailors, we've got Brendan and William. Oh, the smiling assassin Toby's in there with a little bit of work to do. Here comes Jai Copeland up through the move. He's gonna drop into the third spot as they come into the second corner. So it's Jolly, Sala, Copeland as they head down the third. It's the 4V, that's William Saylor in the two spot there. But it's Josh Jolly leading into the third corner. William Saylor's in there for the two. Jai Copeland's trying to find his way through to grab that two spot. We've got uh, another Saylor in four, but it's going to be Jolly Saylor Copeland. Meanwhile, this is a gate stacked with A plates and V plates. It's the 8A out in front, Courtney Oostendorp, followed by the 4A, Shayla Winwood, all the way from West Australia. Then we drop down, there's Frankie May Keenan, Tara Fitzpatrick, Shayla Winwood, Amali um, McKenna. You name it, it's a race of all the plates. But out in front, it's uh, the 8A, Courtney Oostendorp leading the charge. Then we drop down the two spot, the 4A, Shayla Winwood, who's in the three now, the 2V, that's Amali McKenna. Then we've got the 3V, Frankie May Keenan in the mix and Sienna Richmond coming through now for the four. But uh, Courtney Oostendorp takes it out. Cracking start by Joel Marsh in the 13-14 Cruiser boys and going with him there was uh, Corey Miller and uh, Luca Weber. So as they come down here, it is the 2A, Joel Marsh. He's leading them out. Then back in the two spot, it's a 6V and that's uh, Corey Miller. Then it is the 50 plate of Luca Weber. Then it's the 40 on the plate of Jada Morrison. Harrison Sprout rounds them out, but it's a big win to Joel Marsh. Oh, back on the gas. Here we go, folks. They're working hard once again. It's going to be another 13, 14 boys cruise there down the line. The 49 Southwell. I tell you what, that was up and over. He's got the whole shot working hard around the second. Oh, one's down. He clipped the middle. He went uh, down too low. Doing a bit of a Casey Stone, but right now it's going to open up the doors there for Southwell, followed by Salah. The 2V locks in the spot too as well. That'll be uh, Ty Bastion working hard. You got Walker in the four too as well. Make some noise there for Dante Coopy from SA. Came down the second but I tell you what, too strong. Sala takes that one to the line. 15 to 16, boys. Cruiser gate one. We lost one over the gate, but he's up now. But meanwhile, homeboy Ethan Dowd is leading the way from Paddy Bogner. That might be Damon Hocking sneaking into the three spot now. The 4V. We've also got Fitzpatrick, Stewart, Stewart, and Featherby. But it's going to be Dowd's going to grab this one. Paddy Bogner is going to grab the two from Damon Hocking.
15-16, boys cruises out, they pop, and Diesel, Daniel Samuel gets the pop, moves from four straight across, but slam, and Sam Thompson over jumps it, somehow keeps it upright, that lets Diesel come through to snip it, now a side by side, it looks like Blythe joining the party, three wide, down the second straight, slam, and Sam out in front, Diesel now swoops, Blythe held up, he's got to settle back in for three, so the ace race rider, Sam Thompson out in one, Diesel in there for two, Blythe trying to find a way through. Then we drop through to the five via Mitchell Ord. Look at the battle at the front. It's going to the wire. Slam and Sam. He'll hold on to it. Diesel for two. Blythe for three. Oh, Gate drops on the 17 boys. 17, 18 boys. It's a one V out in front. Liam Helms. He's going there. You've got Soderman right in there too. Then we go back. You've got uh, also Lions. You've got Govic. They're all there. Gamble. But uh, your leader at the moment, Liam Helms, a one V Victorian, making looking to go back to back. He's opened up about five or six bike lengths, and he is flying. He's down there. Then in the two spot there, that is the three V in Josh Soderman. Then we go back to the seven VX in Jacob Gamble, and he's doing a great job. Then Peter Lyons and rounding him out is Jagger Govic there. But but all the way to the line, it'll be Liam Helms for the win. Oh, folks, here we go. 30, 30 more, 30, 34 men cruiser flying out through there. Does that look like Walker working hard? Then you got Justin, the 102 machine. I'll tell you what, w, WA is working hard down through the second straight there. Works his magic around the warnable corner. He's flying up and over through the field. It's currently Walker with a four on the plate there. You got Lloyd in the spot there, followed by Ansel for three and Hazelwood as well, too. But I'll tell you what, this guy is too strong. Darren Walker all the way from WA. He'll take the win. Nice done, followed by Justin Lloyd and Harry Ansel. 30 to 39 men's cruiser gate one heading down the second straight right now we've got Robbie Slater the 1v leading the way we got Adam Ahern in there in the three spot Brian Slater the three v is in there for the two we've also got Troy Camden from South Australia but out front it's Robbie Slater as he leads into the third corner so it's Slater from Slater from Ahern as they come down to the finish but it's going to be Robbie Slater grabs this one 35 to 39 men's cruisers. Oh! Hawley out in front at the moment, the Casey Wolf Somehow keeping it upright, he's uh, cased every jump so far. The Kamish Gordo McRae in for the two spot. Then we've got Luke Daff and Nathan Bow settling out the three and the four. But Hawley fast as smooth and smooth as fast. Look at him pump it down the third straight. Gordon McRae now under a bit of pressure. He has to rail it around. It looks like the, uh, Daff trying to come at him. So too, Nathan Bowes. But I tell you what, Jason Hall keeps it upright. He'll take it a win. Uh, great start there. John Cobby, the 6A, he's jumped into the lead. Then you've got Simon Ayres there doing a good job. We go back to uh, Grant Hines, the, uh, the uh, Stats Kiari champ. He's in the three spot there, and they've opened up a bit of a gap on the rest. But i uh, tell you what, here we go in there as well as the 8V. So that is uh, Ashley Morris has moved into the three spot. So your leader at the moment, John Cobby, he looks like he's going to get it done from Simon Ayres. And then we go back to Ashley Morris. Oh, folks, here we go once again. The 40, 40 more men cruiser out there. Looks like it's going to be Lodajenski with locks in for the two spot. But it's going to be Kumar Lord working his magic down through the second straight. The 29, Peter Jalloff there. He locks for the three. There your top three is. But look out. There's going to be some dive bomb moves around the second corner. Can't make it stick. One looks like they're done and dusted. Still Lord working hard through the field. you got Pierre, the French rider. That sounds pretty cool. Then you got Jalloff. But here comes the 89 machine too. Bang and bars. It's going to be French. So you got a Pierre in the front there working hard. There goes Slater trying to make a move but I tell you what Lord taking the win all the way followed by Pierre and I reckon it will be French for third Riders to the pits for Moto2 Riders to the pits for Moto2 40 to 44 women's cruiser heading through the second corner Tess Anderson had the jump off the gate she's led them the whole way through so far she's got Emily Ritchie for company Melissa Graham's on a charge as well Amy Main and Katrina Bennett are having their own battle there for four and five but it's Tess Anderson from Ritchie from Graham as they head into the wind on the fourth straight but it's going to be Tess Anderson grabs this one from Emily Ritchie and Melissa Graham
Gate slams down and went back underway, and it's a good start by the 7V on the outside. Scott Stimson got away to a cracker, as did Shane Jenkins. Let's see what happens as they come down here, but it's a 4A, Rudy Perasoni in the mix. Then it is Shane Jenkins, then it's Scott Stimson. We go back, you've also got uh, Stephen Cully there, also Chris Cormack and Darren Cobain, but a uh, great start out in the middle there. Rudy Perasoni, he is leading them a merry dance. Shane Jenkins, I think, has slotted into the two spot, and Scott Stimson. So that's your one, two, three as they go. Perisoni, Jenkins doing a great job there. And in the three spot, that's Timpson. Then we go back to 5-2-6 of Stephen Carley, the South Australian. But it's all the way to the line with Rudy Perisoni for the win over Jenkins and Timpson. All right, folks, here we go. Another gate here, the 45 to 49 men's cruise. We've got the double wall chucks out and about there, but right now leading the way. It's going to be Sarge working hard. you got wall chuck. He's nice and smooth. Block the locks for number three. Have a look at the powerhouses. Iceman's out there in the fifth spot, too, working hard. The 6V, that's also Damien Woolchuck. But let's cast your eyes back to the front. Oh, I tell you what, Iceman lost his call on the last corner, but it's going to be Sarge. He'll take the win. Wall chuck for uh, number two, Bogner for three. 17 to 24 Williams Cruiser heading through the second corner. We got Marnie Brighton from New South Wales leading the way. Kobe Staggs chasing hard in the two spot. Carly Morris and Adele Munro are in there as well. But it's the 3A leading the way. Marnie Brighton, she's leading into the last corner. Staggs right on her back wheel though. We got Madell and Morris in there for the three and four. As they come through to the line though, the drag race is on. It's going to be Marnie Brighton just from Staggs. 19 to 24, men's cruiser into the second berm and down the first straight. He had to work hard for it. Brandon Porter, the cross keys rider, out in front. Then we've got Bailey Stewart pumping away in for the two, followed by the 4V of Ashley Gamble. So it's the South Australian in front of the two Vicks. But it'll be Brandon Porter. It looks like he's just cruising it along now. He'll take that one out. Stewart for two. OK, great start by Kitty Christiana. And then we've got uh, Megan Harvey going in there as well. Rebecca Tolman and Rebecca Kofel. So we'll pick them up as they come around this top uh, berm up there uh, where all the people are. They're coming down here, the third straight, and it's Kitty Cristiano, the Victorian. She is leading them out here, the 33 on the plate, looking to make it a V plate. Then we go back to the uh, 170 of Megan Harvey there. She is holding down the two. Pretty tight back there. Rebecca Tolman and Rebecca Kofel going at it at the rear. But uh, no mistake, your leader, that's Kitty Cristiano, is going to take it out. All right, folks, here we go. 50-plus men cruiser slamming it out through the second corner. They're working hard. That's Compot. He's got the one on the plate there, nicely moving through the field. Then in the mix, you got the 4-3. Mahuka locks for the two, the 1-5-2. Burrell's made to move there on the 5v uh, Gallahan from Tassie locks back in the third fourth spot and then also you got there Brian Alexander with a 1v the plate he's going to cruise around but too strong for this one Compot takes the win 50 50 plus men's cruiser gate two Wayne Jolly had a great start from gate one he's been chased there by Greg Kelly Robert van der Leest is in there on the three spot we've also got Andrew Simmons and the big dog Will Goose in there as well rounding out your five but as we hammer down towards the third corner, it's Jolly and Kelly starting to tighten up at the front there now. Vanderlease has got a bit of a gap, but as they come flying to the finish line, it's going to be, it's going to be Jolly from Kelly. Ah, oh, sometimes you're lucky, and I tell you what, they're lucky. The retro junior class have to wear flats. Logan Lazarita sends it over the doubles and <laughs> puts the wheel. Ah, oh, somehow puts his foot down and stays upright. But meanwhile, Walker out in front. Then we've got Samuel Todd in for two. Lazarita now trying to make his way through a chop of Lachlan Booby to grab the three back. But it'll be Marcus Walker. He'll take it out. Todd for two. Lazarita's three. Booby for four. 8 to 13 uh, retro class. Here we go. Great start by Lincoln Bentney there, the Victorian. Tara Fitzpatrick going with him there in the two spot. Kai Stevenson in the three. Amy Scheinmarsh and Angus Corbett. So as we come down here, it is the 5V. Lincoln Bentney doing the better at the moment. The 4A Tara Fitzpatrick. But here comes the 302. Stevenson. Then it's Corbett and Hindmarsh. But your leader at the moment, Lincoln Bentney. Looks like might get the better of it here. Stevenson coming home the better for the two spot. So it will be Bentney. Stevenson and Fitzpatrick. The downhill specialist Corey's working there. You got Sal Ord too as well. Have a look at them bunch up. This will be a photo finish, but Ord turns on the afterburn on the retro and takes it across the line, followed by Sal and the downhill specialist Corey. Looks like we're going to jump into our next race event of event number 45.
All eyes on late eight. Lukey Pretlove, the local Hall of Famer, gets the pop, uh, takes the lead here. Gordon McRae's got some work to do to hold him on. He's in for the two spot. Then we drop. It's going to be Brendan Neviant, followed by the 64 of Matty Ansel. So out in front, the Hall of Famer, Luke Pretlove, ex uh, elite champion. He uh, rails it around. He's got about seven bike lengths. Gordon McRae, the commish, doing a great job in there for two, followed by that's going to be Neviant for three and Ansel for four, but I tell you what, he knows every inch of this track. Luke Pretlove, he's just rolling it around. He'll take the win. In for two, the commish. He's got it. Okay, here we go. They're looking good. It looks like a good start by Adam Glanville. Then we go back to the 4V of Neil Searle, and I tell you what, pretty tight, but you've got Danny Booby in there for three. You've got Scott. You've got Grange, Cooper, McCurry, but uh, there's no mistake, your leader at the moment, Adam Glanville, the Victorian. He got away sweetly, and he is looking good on that machine as he comes down here. But I tell you what, it's pretty tight, and this is going to be some good tight race if you come down. It looks like Neil Searle there in the two spot, the 3V moving up on the outside. That's Danny Booby, but they're all looking to come home here on this final straight. Let's see how it goes. But it looks like out in front all the way to the line will be Adam Glanville for the win. Takes it from Searle and Booby. Well, folks, here we go. Another here, the Retro 40 Plus. I'll tell you what, the bike creek, but also the bodies too as well, working hard. you got Darren James all the way from Queensland with a 1V on the plate. Can he hold the same title? Weber locks and load for number two as well, working hard in the field. Ansel's in the third spot, but I'll tell you what there. Let's see what's going to happen down for the last straight. They're going to bunch up. It's a 77 machine. That's Gil, the 5V. Three wide in the corner. Oh, Argy Bargy opens up the door there for the 5V. Have a let him go. Took that one all the way. That's Darren Stephen. He did a Steve Bradbury, went all the way from fifth to third, but it's going to take the line, will be James, all the way through the finish. He'll take the win, Weber, followed by Stevenson for number three. Oh, it looks like we're nearly locked and loaded here. We might have one more coming through. No, we're not. Let's see if Darren gives me the all clear. Here we go, guys. Mini wheelers. This is a Moto 2. Gate 1. Are you ready? Steady. Bip, bip, bip. Go! Gate slams out once again. Here we go. The powerhouses. Wilson, Collingwood, McDonald, Pollard, Crampton, Bound as well. Working hard. Followed by Taylor Thomas. Up and over they go. They're working through the mix in the uh, third straight. They're superstars in the making. But currently it looks like it's going to be Rockstar Piper locks in for the third spot. Nice moves around the bitchman there. Have a look at the inside line there. She's one in pink. She's working on Is that going to be a lead? Bound, it possibly can be. It's bound, banging bars against also through there. Crampton, Crampton bows out through the field, working hard. Rockstar Paper still making the mix. Then also you've got out there Thomas, Pollard, Collingwood and Wilson. But have a let them go. Rockstar bows out there, having a bit of fun there. Same with uh, Crampton, great work. All the fun and participation. Rockstar Piper, the 99 machine, that'll be Pollard. The 19th also of Thomas and the 41, that's going to be Solomon Collingwood. That's Moto to gate one. Over to you, Darren. Thanks, Woz. We got our gate two of our mini wheelers. We got Miles Delosti, Zara Sprout, Bo Bateman, Heath Wilson, Emily Slater, and Jacoby Ayhurst. Are you ready, guys? Set, go. Oh, Bo Bateman had the eyes on, but Zara Sprout got the early jump. Miles is in there. So is Heath. So is Emily. So is Jacoby. As they head down that difficult first straight for the mini wheelers. But it looks like it might be uh, Bo and Zara sharing the lead now. Bo got hard on the sandals as he went down there. Oh, look at that. Zara's doing a bit of one-legged. Quite appropriate. They've just followed the retros. Bit of one-foot cornering going on there. But it's Bo Bateman leading the way. Zara Sproats in there as well for the two. Heath Wilson's in there. Looks like it might be Slater getting a bit of encouragement as they come through. Oh, here we go. And Bo Bateman grabs this one. Zara Sprout rolls across in the two spot. And the 286 is brought home by Heath. And then we've got Miles, Emily and Jacoby rounding out our six.
All eyes to the outside, six and seven, Jagakovic, Harry Schofield, and on the inside, Slam and Sam, the 1v, taking the lead. So Sam Thompson into the first berm, gets the whole shot, then in for the two spot, he's got the moves like Jagger. He's in for the two, looks like Harry Schofield settling in for the three, and then the Patterson girls. It's the battle of the Patterson girls, Alicia and Amelia, not sure which order. Ah, oh, move at the front there, tell you what, having a ride at tough. That was Jagakovic slamming it up the inside. It's an ace race. The CEO tried to take the spot. The new young gun now holds him up. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is better than a Formula One race where they're staging it. It's going to be Slam and Sam over the top of the CEO of Ace Race, Jagakovic. Ansel for two. And then the Patterson girls. Oh, folks, here we go once again, working there, the five and under Sprocket girls. Daff, Simmons there, Sylvester, Benning, Cully and Rogers. But it's going to be the one, five, four. Penny Simmons got the petty power working through the field nicely. Then let's have a look. It could be Cully, could be Rogers, could be Benning, Sylvester or Daff. But as they make their way around the Warnable corner, have a look at the powerhouses. Under five Sprocket girls, great to see. You got the one with the, uh, the ears on the goggles too. Got the gate race face two out through the field. Nicely done, but currently right now, Still working through there. It's going to be Simmons in the mix there. Flying through the field, but it's going to be the 5 2 4. It's Cully all the way from SA. She's got the mix. She's got the power. Then the 1 5 4 of Simmons in the mix. Then the 70 machine. That's Daff. So that's how we rock and roll down through the last straight. The 50 machine of Benning in the four spot. Nicely done. Then you've got the uh, cuddly teddy bear through the field. That's a 9 1 3. That's Sylvester the cat. Fox in for the fifth spot there. And the 1 8 4 of Rogers. What a finish. What superstars. Under five. Sprocket girls. Ah, oh, great racing here. It looks like uh, Ryder Rook's got off a cracker yet again. Out in the lead. Then we go back to uh, Jarrah Benning doing a good job. Then the 154 of Noah Bateman. The 100 is next. That'll be Declan Morris. Then it's a 132. Freddie Coote. And the 126 to round them out there. And that will be Zachary Vincent. But Ryder Brooks, I tell you what, he's about to catch the uh, last race. And uh, over the line he goes. Awesome stuff there. Five and under Sprockets continuing the race. Now, I tell you what, determined over the big jump at the end of the first straight. Leo Richardson from South Australia. He gets a cheer from the crowd as he pops into the one spot over the top of Mitchie Sala. But here comes Mitchie Sala down the third straight. Ah, oh, smooth as fast. Fast is smooth. Mitchie Sala goes from two to one over the top of Leo Richardson. In for three, Peter Fry. For four, Nicholas Salau. For five, Daniel Dashul Lord. And then the one away to Owen Slatter, but Mitchie Sala takes this one out. Oh, right, folks, can we please have the uh, retro rider, the 4A, Harry Schofield, 4A to scoring with your bike. Harry Schofield with your bike to scoring from 4A. Back on the gas we go. It's going to be the under five, under six Brocket girls. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Crampton Rollins there, Woolley working hard. Herbert and McDonald, but the powerhouses down there, they're all the way down there. It's going to be Rollins in the mix there, the 40 machine too. Crampton working hard, the 149. That's going to be uh, McDonald. Then you've got Breedley through the field, or Herbert, sorry. Then up and over they go. The 365 of Breeley Woolley. He's got super work down through the line. Ah, oh, it's amazing stuff here. The Sprocket Girls, the six Sprocket Girls as they cross the line. Okay, it's the zigzag man, Isaac Sylvester, Master DRT. He has uh, just been overtaken there by the 184, and uh, that will be Joey Rogers. Now, we lost little Ty Classens here in the first uh, burn, but he's looking good now. So the 97, doing a good job there, Wilfred McKibben. But I tell you what, it's Isaac Sylvester and Joey Rogers. Joey Rogers getting it done. Sylvester coming home hard. Let's see what happens here. Oh, Rogers from Sylvester. The three spot there, that looks like it belongs to Wilfred McKibben. You've also got Peyton Ogers. Van Hout and Pollard and our fallen rider there, young Ty Classens. He's talking to the uh, medical guys and they're just making sure he's okay. Oh, folks, here we go. Gate drops. Here we go. The six rocket rockets there. Brunton, Patch, Blue Thunder, which is Hall, Jones, Baker, Liam, and Murray. Who's got the smashing gates? It's going to be Cooper Murray. Got the power down. Then Blue Thunder locks in for the number two spot. They're nicely done flying through the field. You've got Patch in there working hard too. Don't forget, you've got Brunton. Also, Baker having a great time up and down the second straight. They're flying through there. What? The crank's going hard. It is still going to be Cooper Murray all the way from SA. He's got some power. You've got Blue 
Blue Thunder, but open up the door. Let's have a look at the next runner. Neck and neck, he's got some speed down the uh, third straight. That's a 487. That's Liam. Liam locks in for the two spot. Then you got uh, Blue Thunder through there. Patch as well working out. Don't forget you got Baker, the 207, the mix here of Brunton, and the 460 of Jackson Jones. Nice work. Oh, six brackets, gate three, heading downtown right now. We've got the 58 machine of Bodhi Katana from SA leading the way. Jude Daff also from SA. He's in there for the two spot. The 17 machine of Gill in there for three. So it's an SA one, two, three at the moment. The 221 machine of Osborne's trying to fight back for Victoria. We've also got Sturzaka, Osborne and Crotty in this. Oh, Thomas Crotty dropped in. Grab a four spot now, but as they head through to the line, it's going to be the 58 machine. Ah, oh, he's been overtaken. Looks like it's going to be Daff takes it from Katana. And looks like also uh, Gil Hill done for three. Seven Sprogger girls out and about, and Jessica Robb had a little uh, bingle there on the first straight. She's up and about, though. In the meantime, it's going to be Lacey Gray out in front. Here comes Gracie Peergrove. She leaves it late. She's given it a big gap here. She's moved from three to two. Jacqueline Waters back to three. So it's going to be Lacey Gray out in front, but she knows she's coming. Gracie Peergrove sets the afterburners on. Who's going to hold on? Lacey looks like she'll hold on this time. Gracie for two. Jacqueline Waters for three. Summer Thomas 4, and let's give her a big cheer, the 27 machine, the Hornet. She's wearing pink, pinky Tuscadero, Jessica Robb. Seven Sprocket boys gets off the gate sweetly. And Aiden Ashcroft comes from gate eight right across in front. Looks like he's going to lead him into the first burn with the hole shot. But uh, you've got the young uh, New South Welshman in uh, Fowler there looking good in the uh, thrill gear. Then on his inside there, that will be uh, Roman, I think, there, Brown, the South Australian. So that's your top three. You've also got Foley, Chalice, Gill, Driscoll. And at the moment, Ew, Ashcroft, oh, Fowler, look at this. This is great racing. Out right in front, you've also got Roman Brown doing a good job. Let's pick it up as they come down. It is the 80 of Aiden Ashcroft. And all over his back wheel is Roman Brown back in the three spot there looking to pounce his Harley Fowler from the Clarence Valley Club in New South Wales. He is flying along there. But I tell you what, he's grown an extra leg. So it'll be Ashcroft from Brown and Fowler. Oh, folks, here we go. Seven Sprockets boys there working their magic around the second corner there. Nice. And it's Miles Daisy Davies all the way from uh, WA working hard. But I'll tell you what, Darcy Fraser's got some power down too as well. Neck and neck the third straight. I'll tell you what's part of our action for Sprocket Rockets. But no, look at all. Oh, one's cut the grass, but opens up the door. Davies will take this one down the line. Super work in there. You've also got Foe out through the field. Dielsey, Brown and Nola. But what super power they got there. Miles Davies will take that to the line. Seven Sprockets, gate three. Meanwhile, heading into the second corner. We've got an early leader there, Tyler Wood from SA. We've got Tyson McCurry in there, Lockie Shafter, Ryan Jones, Archie Shields, and Thomas Alexander. But it's a three... 325 machine of Wood leading the way. Shafter now pops into that number two spot. McCurry's been held up a little bit there, but he comes back in third, but they've got a big dive for the line going on. But out front, it's going to be Tyler Wood from SA. He's going to grab this one from Lockie Shafter. Seven Sprocket boys hitting up the second boom now, and it's going to be the World 8, Cade McNamara from South Australia. Lucas Harjnal in for the two spot. There was a battle going down the second straight. Kane Hazelwood and Levi Brown. It looks like big bad Levi Brown settled that one. He's got his eyes on Harjnal now, but nothing stopping the World 8. So Cade McNamara in one. All eyes for the two. It's Harjnal out in front. He'll hold on to it. Levi Brown for three, and Hazelwood for four. Eight to ten girls cruiser get off the gate sweetly. Stephanie Alexander, as she did in the first one, the young Victorian, she's leading him out. But right behind her is a fellow Victorian, Lily Corbett, six V on the plate. Then Haley Stokes done a great job. But Sheridan Pickett, she's not done with either the South Australian. But it's all Stephanie Alexander shut the gate. She's into the home straight and she's heading for the line in the two spot. That'll be Lily Corbett and she's opened up a bit of a gap on Haley Stokes and Sheridan Pickett.
Oh, folks, back on the gas, it's going to be 8 to 10 boys cruiser. They're working hard down through the field. I'll tell you what, they're working the mix. It's going to be picking. That's right, not pickings, it's picking there. But tell you what, out there in front there is going to be Jesse Paul. Then the 172. That's nicely done, working through the 112. That's Taplin in the mix there. Got some power working around the corner. Then it looks like it's going to be through the mix all the way. Superstars. But I'll tell you what, too strong to be Jesse Paul takes a win. 8 to 10 boys, Cruiser gate 2, heading down the second straight, we've got Samuel Levas from SA leading the way, that's the 2A rider, he's got Caden Underhill for company, Tyler Hall's in there for the 3 spot, so is Byron Lee, Billy Van Hout and Heath Cully, but leading the way, Samuel Levas, he's got a bike length or 2, he's going to grab the win, and the drag race is on the 2 spot between Underhill and Hall, Underhill grabs the 2, Hall 3. Harry Schofield, Harry Schofield, can you please make your way to the score shed with your bike? Harry Schofield, the retro bike, 4A, to the score shed. Not now, but right now. Meanwhile, 8 to 10 boys cruise out and about, and the Gatinator, Cameron Gatt, smashed this one apart. The battle for the two between Shafter and Castle has been settled by Shafter. Castle in for two. Harvey Brooks got the pincer move down the first straight, had to settle for four, and in for five, Zay Cobain. 11 to 12, boys cruiser out there. Jumping Josh Jolly, the 10 year veteran. He's back out in the lead, looking good. In the two spot, that'll be William Sala from the Ace Race team. Then we go back to the 4 1 1, and that'll be Cade Marsh. And I tell you what, then you've got the uh, three V and Sebastian Fraser. You've got Miller, Tootle Corrales, Jackson as well. But I tell you, and Perkins. But all the way to the line, it is jumping Josh Jolly for the win. All right, folks, here we go, another gate here at the 11 and 12. Boys Cruise, they're working around the first corner. It's going to be Salah. Copeland locks him for the number two. There you go, top two runners working hard down the third straight. I tell you what, the powerhouse is working through the field. Here comes Copeland. He's got the 3A. It's Copeland in the mix there, followed by Salah, the 29 machine also. That's going to be Callum Whitney. Locks him for the third spot. The 230 also working hard. That's going to be Preston Murray. Good to see he's back on the bike. But tell you what, Copeland, Salah, followed by the remaining riders of Whitney. 13 to 14, girls cruiser hammering down that third straight. It's the 8A of Courtney Oostendorp. She's leading the way. The 4A of Shayla Winwood's in there for WA. She's the 2. The 2V of Amali Kenna. McKenna is holding down the 3 spot. We've also got Richmond Fitzpatrick, Cofield, Schofield, Keenan in the mix. But it's going to be Oostendorp from Winwood from McKenna. 13 to 14, boys cruiser, and recalculate, recalculate. Harrison Sala was making a move and went over the top of the berm, stayed onto the track, but he's not catching the 2A. Joel Marsh, he's gone like last week's paycheck, styling it up. Sala for two. The battle for the three is the one to watch. Walker just hanging onto it. It looks like Luca Weber for four and Jaden Morris for five. Okay, cracking start there by the 6V and Corey Miller. Looks like he's leading them out there. You've got Rory Southwell in the mix. I think he's back in three. And in the two spot, we'll pick up the numbers as we come down. And that will be the 6-1-1 in Dante Cooper. They've opened up a big lead there on the 128, And, of course, that will be Harrison Sprout. But your leader all the way to line, Corey Miller. He is going to take this one out from a fast finishing Dante Cooper and Rory Southwell. Oh, folks, back in the gas once again. Here we go. It's going to be the uh, 15 and 16 boys cruise. I'll tell you what, the powerhouse around the first corner. Ethan Dowles, he knows the track inside out, working hard. you got Thompson locks in for the two spot. I'll tell you what, there, they're both jumping, keeping it nice and smooth around the track right now. Super power down. The third straight is still going to be in the mix all the way. It's going to be Dowles, followed by Thompson with the eight on the plate there. Then you've got the 38 machine. I'll tell you what, Jordan Short locks for two. They head for home, but no one's going to stop this guy. Ethan Dow takes the win, followed by Sam Thompson and the remaining riders out through the field. Oh, here we go. 15 to 16, boys cruiser. This just got crazy. Paddy Bugner took the long way around to grab the... Got the whole, whole shot there as he heads down the second straight. He's got Featherby for company. We've got Hocking Stewart, Ord, Blythe and Samuel in there. But Samuel jumps back into the lead now, the New South Wales rider. So Daniel Samuel leading the way. Paddy Bogner back to the two spot. Byron Blythe is in there for three, and that's how they're going to finish. 17 18 boys cruiser, the defending champ from Ildura. Liam Helms leads the charge on this one. Awesome battle between Jacob Gamble and uh, Josh Sodoman, I think, for the two and the three. So it's Helms out in one. Here they come down the third straight. Gamble settling in for the two. Then it's going to be uh, Sodoman, yes, in for the three, followed by Liam Helms for his second race of the year. So it's going to be, uh, sorry, Liam Helms will win it. Then we go through Gamble, Sodoman, and Peter Lyons, I meant, for his second race of the year.
30 to 34, men's cruiser are out there at the moment. The West Australian, Darren Walker, got away sweetly. Then we go back to Justin Lloyd, the Victorian in the two spot. Matthew Ansel, a 7V from Victoria also. And Luke Hazel with the Tasmanian, got a bit of work to do. But it's all Darren Walker looking good as he comes down here, the 4A on the plate. The West Australian's going to take this one out from Justin Lloyd. And back there in the three spot, that'll be Matthew Ansel from Luke Hazelwood. Oh, folks, here we go, 35 to 39, men's cruiser working hard. It's going to be Brian Slater with a 3V, but look out, knock on the door, set the 2V. Adam Ahern, they work around the waterable corner. They're still popping down through the third straight. It's Slater, Ahern in the spot there, nice move. Then you've got McRae, locks in for the 2. Then up and over we go, it's going to be the 142 of Daff, Luke Daff, and the 997 of Troy Crampton. But have a look at the battle at the front there. It's going to be Slater working through the field, and Ahern takes the 2, followed by McRae for 3. 30 to 39 men's cruiser, gate two, heading down the second straight. The 1V of Robbie Slater is leading the way. Hawley's in there with Nathan Bowles. They're battling for the two and three spot. Slater pulls away by a couple of bike lengths now as he heads into the third corner. Bowles has pulled in front of uh, Hawley now as they uh, head for the finish line. Hawley sat down now. He's conceded that three spot. So it's going to be Slater, Bowles and Hall. Meanwhile, a stacked field here in the 40 to 44 men's cruiser. Kamal Lord from Mildura smashes this one apart. In for the two spot, it's going to be Simon Ayers from the Border Club in Victoria. In for three, the 7A, that's going to be uh, Lodajenski, followed by Grant oh. Hines making a move now. The 89 of Matthew French, but can't make it through. So Kamal Lord cements it. Ayers from Border for two, followed by Lodajenski from Sydney, I believe. Okay, looks like we lost one in the 40-44 men's cruiser, but out in front at the moment, John Cobby repeating that uh, first effort. Uh, you've got in the two spot, Ashley Morris, Chris uh, L L 70X there in the uh, three, along with the uh, 29, I think it is there, in hot pursuit. That's Peter Jeller. So they're uh, looking good as they come down to the line, but it's all John Cobby. He's going to take this one out for a big win. Ashley Morris for the two. Oh, folks, here we go. The gate drops out. The 40-44 women cruiser working out there. Tess Anderson the way. In fact, she's going to lead all the way there because we need riders to pitch for Moto3. Riders to staging for Moto3. Pits or staging, who knows? But Tess has got the power right now. Lead the way on the 2V on the plate there. But I'll tell you what, coming there is Emily Ritchie in the 2 spot too. So they're swap spots. 1V is now going to be 2V. Who knows what's going to happen? Then you've got the 2V in the mix there. Nice on Melissa Graham in the third spot. Working hard. Katrina Bennett with a 5V on there. And you've got Amy Main as well there nicely done out through there as they bunch up through the third straight she's still got the gt power she's got the go go gas it's still tess anderson working all the way around the last corner the powerhouses it is still tess anderson richie's graham in the three spots Graya bennett also for the four followed by amy main for five no, 40 to 49 women's cruiser this is gate one we've got eliza flanagan rebecca smith and tamara davis Looks like Tanya Money's a non-starter for this one. So leading the way, the 4A of Rebecca Smith. She's leading down that third straight. We've got Tamara Davis in there in the uh, three spot. Eliza Flanagan, the 3V, holding down the two as they head down that busy third straight. But meanwhile, Rebecca Smith, the 4A, she's going to come through and grab this from Flanagan and Smith. Uh, meanwhile, 45 to 49 men. Oh! Bogs the Casey Wolf determined down the first straight, chucks it up the inside, takes the lead over Jinx. Oh, one goes down over the jumps. Not sure who it is because I can't see them, but it's Adrian Bogner from the Casey Club, the president out in front. Jinx in for two. Here comes a fast moving Sean Collins. Can he make the move on his teammate? Oh, he just settles it in there and says, oh, I can't take him on. Jinx, but he leaves the door open for Wolchuk. Wolchuk's going to grab the three. So it's Boggs, Jeeks, Wolchuk, and of course our fallen rider here. Let's show your appreciation. He's from South Australia, Dino, Stephen Cully. And he's up and about the crew around him. Stephen Cully from South Australia. Show your appreciation, ladies and gentlemen. Cracking start in the 45-49 men's cruiser. Here they go. Oh, it looks like Surridge getting away. Walchuk as well. So who gets the whole shot? The 8V. Surridge gets around first. Walchuk goes with him. Rudy Perasoni in the mix as well. So as we come down, you've also got Bracken, Timpson and Cormac. 
But out in front at the moment, Surridge, he is holding them off. But I tell you what, they're coming home fast. And it's Walchuk there on the two spot by the looks of that. Or it's uh, Timpson, is it the 7V? No, it is the 2V. So it's Walchuk there. He's right there. Timpson doing a great job also. But uh, out in front, all the way to the line, Glenn Surridge is going to take it out. All right, folks, here we go, 1924 Women Cruiser on the second straight as we speak there. You've got uh, Brighton there with a three on the plate there. Smash the gate, working away around the corner too as well. On the mix, you've got Stag there, working to power down through the third straight. There's neck and neck. Then you've got Morris and Munro. I'll tell you, what, one and two banging through the field, followed by Morris comes up there. So currently, it's Brighton leading the way. Stag locks for number two there. Morris turns on the afterburners to come into the third spot there. And Munro comes out through and takes a fourth spot. Meanwhile, 90 to 24 men's cruiser heading down to the second corner. Braden Porter from SA leading the way. He's got Bailey Stewart and Ashley Gamble for company as they head down that third straight. But it's the 3A. Braden Porter leading into the last corner. Stewart's in there for the two spot. Gamble's in there for the three spot as they come through to the take the line. Braden Porter from. Bailey Stewart and Ashley Gamble. Meanwhile, 30 to 30, 35 to 39 women. They're going faster than a sail at the ladies queuing up at Taj A. It looks like defence is the strategy here. Megan Harvey having to defend hard from Kitty Cristiano. So Megan and the inside now leading the charge. Kitty looking for the way through. Rubbins racing. The elbows are taking a beating in there for the three spot. Rebecca Tolman and Rebecca Coffell. But in the front, I'll tell you what, Kitty's looking left. She's looking right. She can't find a way through. The Hornet. Megan Harvey hanging on to it. Here comes Kitty Cristiano, who gets it on the line. Oh, leave it to the transponders. Oh, good start here in the 50-plus men's cruiser. And to the hole shot, looks like it'll be the 49 of Greg Kelly. you got the 4V in there as well. That's Lance Mahuka, and he's doing a good job also. But it's all Kelly out in front of the moment. Mahuka's got to chase hard. And I tell you what, Andrew Simmons, he's doing a good job back in four. But the other three seem to have cleared out, so we'll pick them up as they come down here. And your leader at the moment with the... Uh, 49 on the plate, that is Kelly, then it's the 4V, and then it is the 152. So Lance Mahika there and Jeffrey Borrell. So Jeffrey Borrell there, they're fighting it out back there, but there's no mistaking your winner, and over the line, Greg Kelly for the win from Mahika and Borrell. Oh, right, folks, here we go, another go here, the 50-plus men crews, they're working the way, it's going to be Compot Jolly in the mix there, flying through the field, nicely done. Big dog, Will Goose, just chilling out the back there, but let's have a look, the two front runners neck and neck, you've got also flying through the field, the 150 machine, that's Vandalus in there, working hard, then you've got the 5 Callahan and big dog, Will Goose, but right now, all the way down the line, it's going to be Compot taking the Jolly out through the uh, second spot, and I'm going to leave that one of the transports. They cross the line for third. Oh, a close finish. Retro time. Retro class junior, 8 to 13, gate one. We've got Logan Lazaridis leading the way from Sam Todd. Tara Fitzpatrick is having a bit of a battle with Kai Stevenson, Hamish Hindmarsh, and Casey Patterson. But it's Lazaridis from Todd. From Kai Stevenson at the moment as they drop into the last corner. Patterson's trying to find a spot back as well, but it's going to be Logan Lazaridis grabs this one from Sam Todd. And then the drag race is on from third between Stevenson and Patterson. Okay, more retro class action here. Eight to 13 years. You've got Tootle Corrales, Booby Corbett, Bentley Walker. And out in front at the moment and looking good. That's Walker. He has uh, absolutely smashed it down. So Booby's back in three. And I tell you what, though, Marcus Walker, the Victorian, he's going to take this one out. And it uh, looks like um, Tutor Corrales there doing a good job in the two spot. And Booby for the three. Meanwhile, 14 to 29, retro and out in front, slam and Sam Thompson. But I tell you what, he's got that downhill Yu Yang specialist on his heel. Corey Stammer, he knows how to have sustained energy, but he has to settle for two. Thompson, Stammer, and into the line, oh, over the top, Harry Schofield just over Nick Searle. All right, folks, here we go once again. It's going to be the 1429 retro out about there. We've got Ord. Looks like he's leading the way. He's got that Twisted Concept team in there. Jagger, go, go. Jagger in the mix here. He's ace race right now. Then you've got the 543 to Aiden Fitzpatrick. Then you also got the Patterson in the mix here. That's going to be the 64 Amelia Patterson, the 186 of her, Ash Leisha Patterson. But too strong will be the Twisted Concept rider of Ord taking the win. Forty plus retro gates. I'll tell you what, out of the middle, Neil Searle gets 
Great little pop there. I tell you what, Adam Moyle's trying to join the party, but it's Searle out in front. The 6V of Grange, but up the inside, Danny Booby, ripper move. He moves to two. Grange now looking for the side on the outside, but it's all Neil Searle, the 4V, determined to hang on to it. Oh, old school berm. He goes the high low, drops the pedal Moto GP style and keeps the lead. So it's Neil Searle out in front. Then it's got the 6V Grange. Booby moves in for the three, one. then in for four. David getting the 409 there as Sam Graham. The battle is heating up now. Searle will keep the one. Who's coming over the top? I'll tell you what, ripper work. 40 plus retro. More 40 plus action. Great start by Trevor Webber there. The Victorian Darren James goes with him as well as does Adam Glanville. You've got Stevenson, Ansel, Cooper and McCoury. But out in front at the moment, it is the 2V. Trevor Webber looking good. But on his inside is Glanville. Gets the inside run and takes it. So let's see if he's got anything left in the tag. Here he comes. Webber coming home. Glanville, Webber, Glanville, Webber. Webber coming home. Glanville's going to hold on. Glanville from Webber. And in the three spot, that'll be James. Okay, folks, got the all clear. So, mini wheelers, start your pedal power going through the field. Let's get set. Ready, city, boop, boop, go! Gate slams out once again. Here we go. They're going to go down there. Moto 3, gate 1. Rockstar paper out there. Got Bound working hard too as well. Sprout, so I'll tell you what, the three ladies are working hard down the third straight. There's not a one little pedal they're not putting in there. They're working hard. The power of the feet working down through the third straight. They hit the berm in the last corner there. I'll tell you what, it's going to be Rockstar Piper. Alicia Bound there. Zara Sprout also firing through the field. Nicely done. Up and over the mix. Then also you've got uh, Wilson in there. Morale throwing through their iris as well but down they go it's a 36 machine working hard she's out there doing a night great job there all the way it's going to be rockstar piker with a 165 machine alicia bound they got the 156 here also zara sprout and then coming out through there i'll tell you what neck and neck i reckon they're having a bit of a chat the 63 machine that's going to be iris and the 286 of wilson have a look at them go all about the fun and participation there but the green machine of the 286 having a great time and the 63 machine crossing the line over to you darren thanks was mini wheelers gate two we've got emily slater bo bateman miles delosti Cody Crampton, Taylor Thomas, Fletcher Pollard, and Solomon Collingwood. Are we ready, guys? Set. Boo, 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 boo. Go. Oh, the 998 machine. He was pretty raring to go in staging. He's just flown the coop. That's Cody Crampton from SA. Miles is in there. Bo Bateman's chasing pretty hard as well from Northern BMX. We've also got Emily Slater, Miles, Taylor Thomas, Fletcher Pollard, and Solomon Collingwood. But it looks like a two-horse race at the moment. Bo's chasing pretty hard. This is his second season of Mini Wheelers. He's a bit uh, veteran now. But meanwhile, oh, they're starting to form up now. Cody Crampton, though, holding half a Mini Wheeler in front. Oh, look at that. He's up on the bars. He's going to pump his way through the last bit. Bo's hard on the sandal. Oh, Bo with three wheels across the line. Cody comes in too, but he was all style. The 99 machine, Fletcher Pollard, drags a toe all the way across to take third. The 108, that'll be Emily. She's in there as well, followed home by Taylor, Miles, and Solomon rounds out our seven. Five and under sprockets, here they come. Montana Rogers, Eva Sylvester, the Tiger, Esther Daff, Eva Cully, Jovi Benny, and Penny Simmons. Look at them smashing it. Look at them wiggle. Look at them giggle as they come down the first straight. Eva Cully, she's doing a great job in the one, takes the low line. Nice space there by oh, yeah. Penny Simmons in for two. Eva Sylvester, she's growling as she goes around the track in for three, giving a bit of rrrr in those cradle pedals as she gives it a bit of extra energy. Then we've got Esther Daff, Montana Rogers, Jovi Benning in the mix. Here they come. Looks like uh, Eva Cully from South Australia has certainly got them to the afterburners. She's got a bit of a gap now on the two spot. Penny Simmons down the very technical third straight. I'll tell you what, they go uh, step up, step down as they go down this third straight. Look at the work there. 
made Eva Cullish racing very hard. Then Penny Simmons doing a great job. In for three, Eva Silvestra still growling it out as she goes down the third straight. In for four, Esther Daff doing a fantastic job. They've all got goggles. I tell you what, they're going to be pros fairly soon. <laughs> then we've got Montana Rogers. Only a couple of weeks ago, she was on a mini wheeler. She's doing a great job. And Jovi Benning in the 50. Great work. Five and under, Sprocket Girls. Okay, cracking start once again. Five and under Sprocket boys. Mitchell Sama, the little ace race champ. Look at him go out in front there. The one three one on the plate. Then it's back to the one three two of Freddie Coote, another Victorian. So it's an all Victorian affair in this one. Good to see all these little Sprocket rockets as they come down this uh, third straight. But it's all Mitchell Sama. He's got the cranks in. But oh, coming up beside him there is the two thirty eight of Jarrah Benning. Overtakes him now, and doing a great job there. Then we go back to the one hundred of Declan Morris as well. So. Out in front, he's going to take this one out. Jarrah Benning, Mitchell Sala for a good two. And in the three, I'm pretty sure that will be Declan Morris. Oh, folks, here we go. Another gate here of the five and under Sprocket boys. Yeah, have a look at them having a great time. Looks like leading the way. The one five two of Ryder Brooks couldn't pick the numbers up as they were smashing the first corner. Let's have a look at them. Watch them go wiggling, giggling down through the third straight. It is Brooks followed by it's the two three one. I'll tell you what, that's Richardson all the way from SA. The seven one five four. That's Noah Bateman having a great time. The one two six of Vincent locked and loaded. The eighty eight machine there of uh, Lloyd and they got Solara as well. They're into the, the wind coming out through the field, but great work there all the way through. It's going to be Brooks, Richardson, Bateman, Vincent, and Sular. Don't forget also you got Lloyd in the mix as well. Meanwhile, six Sprocket girls out and about, and Ivy Rollins from New South Wales went from lane eight to lane one in the space of three cranks to take the lead. Very aggressive riding, but got the skills to go with it. In for the two spot, Isabella Crampton from South Australia. She's now closing the gap, followed by Lucy McDonald. Looking the goods there down the third straight. In for four, it's going to be uh, Felicity Hibbert and fifth, Briley Woolley, one of the new riders to BMX, doing a great job. She's standing up more and more every week. But out in front, Ivy Rollins, she settled it at the start. She'll take it out. Isabella Crampton, two, and Lucy McDonald, three. Uh, six Sprocket boys out there, and we've got a great start by Wilfred McKibben, the Tasmanian. He is leading, but I tell you, he's being challenged on the outside there. That looks like, uh, yeah, they're banging bells all right and bars. It's the 230, doing a good job. Thomas Crotty, back in three. It uh, looks like Patch there doing a good job also. You've got Sturzak, you've got Payton, you've got Van Hout and Jones. But I tell you what, out in front, it'll be interesting. McKibben and Crotty go at it, and it looks like it might be McKibben just gets it. Too hard to pick. Oh, folks, here we go once again. Back on the gas. We're flying through the field. It looks like it's going to be the 229 leading the way. So we're, that's going to be Cooper Murray in the mix here. The 69 also flying through. That's Daff. I tell you what, they're powerhousing around the corner. You've got a Rods in the spot too. Don't forget, you've got Blue Thunder in the mix out through the field. Nice done. You've got Gill in there also, Pollard and Liam. But I tell you what, Murray, Cooper Murray will take this one down to the line. Six Brockers, gate three. Heading into the second corner. Oh, they're bar to bar through the second corner. That's on between Sylvester and Katanar. Looks like it might be Sylvester with the lead still. Oh, Sylvester leading into the last corner. He's got Katanar on his uh, tail. The 2 2 1 machine. That'll be Mitchell Osborne from Victoria. He's in there for the three spot. Hudson Baker, Richard Hodges. Ty Classens and Reese Stevenson also in the mix, but the drag race is on for the line. Looks like the 58 machine of Katana got over the top of Isaac Sylvester. Meanwhile, Sprocket Girls out and about, and this one's going to go to the wire. Lacey Gray got the early pop, but Gracie Peergross is lining up the freight trainer and putting the power in. She's moved from three to two. Not much in it. Lacey's going to have to work hard because Gracie has a strong finish. Here they come, 25 to go. Gracie Peergross freight trains it over the top. Takes the win. Lacey Gray, two. In for three. <laughs> it's going to be Jacqueline Waters. And for four, Summer Thomas. And Jessica Rob. Seven Sprocket boys, they're doing a great job here. There we go, out in front at the moment, it is the 173. Darcy Fraser, he's been followed by Tyler Wood. And back there is uh, Roman Brown there in the three spot. You've also got Shafter, Driscoll, Hazelwood and Julian. But it's all uh, the number one there to Darcy Fraser from Tyler Wood taking it out. 
Oh, folks, here we go. Seven boys have hit around the second corner of the Warnable corner. They're working hard. The cheer squads are going crazy, but currently right now it's a world eight. McNamara all the way from SA leading the way. Foe locks in for the number two spot. That's right. The 68 machine working hard. you got Lucas Hadjul in the mix. He's also locked for three. Great work. Then you got Mercurio and the 240 trying to make a move at Chalice. And don't forget Jackson Brown working hard down the line. But I'll tell you what, nothing stopping this guy. Cade McNamara down through the finish, followed by Foe and Hadjul. Seven Sprockets, gate three, heading down the second corner. Miles Davies from WA leading the way. He's got some pressure though. Levi Brown from Victoria. Clay Nolan's in there. So is Thomas Alexander, David Gill and Chase Foley. But it's Davies from Brown. The 168 machine of Alexander's holding on to that three spot. The drag race is on for the line right now. This is Miles Davies from WA. He's got some pressure. Who's got the legs as they come to the line? It's going to be Davies, Brown, then Alexander. Meanwhile, Seven Sprockets, there's a ding-dong battle down the second straight between Fowler and Ashcroft. It looks like coming out in front was Aidan Ashcroft from South Australia. Harley Fowler from New South Wales in there for the two, followed by Archie Shells from Shields from Victoria for three. Then Nicholas Lowry, Ryan Jones and Reese the Lost. But it's uh, Aiden Ashcroft from South Australia. We'll take this one out. 8 to 10, girls cruiser for the third time today. Stephanie Alexander, the young Victorian, she's in front, holding off Lily Corbett. Then we go back, Sheridan Pickin and Haley Stokes. But it's all Stephanie Alexander, the 41 on the plate, looking for a 1V, and she'll probably get it on this form. She is looking good. The 6V right there, Lily Corbett. Then it's the 327, Haley Stokes, Sheridan Pickin, the South Australian, not done with yet. But your leader going to take it out over the line, Stephanie Alexander for the win from Corbett and Stokes. Oh, folks, here we go. Eight to ten boys cruise then working around the Warnable corner. It's going to be Gat working hard, followed by Jesse Paul. You got Castle in for the number three swap, but he's about to be challenged too as well. One and two look like they're done and dusted. They're working hard. Here we go, the eight, four, six. It's going to be picking. He's trying to make a move in. Oh, bar action all the way down. Opens up the door. Looks like the one, one, two. Tatlin goes all the way from fifth to fourth. But down the line, it's going to be Gat, followed by Jesse Paul. 8 to 10 boys, cruiser gate 2, oh it's a ding dong battle here, Caden Underhill and Tyler Hall going banging bars, we got Harvey Brooks and Phoenix Stevis in there as well, Billy Van Hout and Ashton Smith, but it's Underhill from Hall, Brooks has now snuck in there for the 3 spot, Stevis back to 4, as they come through the line though, who's got the legs, Hall starting to wind it up now, who's going to do the drag race, the line transponders between Hall and Underhill. Meanwhile, 8 to 10 cruises out and about. Samuel Vass from South Australia lining this one up well in for the lead. Followed by Regan Shafter from the Knox Club doing a great job. Zay Cobain in there for the three. And Jacob French from Tasmania not far behind in the four. But it is all Samuel Vass showing them all while he's the 2A. Oh, folks, here we go. 11 to 12 boys cruiser. Looks like it's going to be Jolly leading the way, working hard in the mix there. Then it's going to be Sarah up and out through the field down the line. Let's have a look as they're pumping action down in the mix there. It's going to be Jolly. Working hard. You got William Sauer. Then the 4A locks in for the number three spot too as well. Preston Murray working around the corner. Looks like you got Marsh in there also working hard down the line. But I tell you what, jumping jolly. He'll take the win. And a neck and neck finish there between the two. Oh, I tell you what, leave that one of the transponders. 11 to 12, boys cruiser out there. Jai Copeland is in the lead. Then we go back to uh, Sebastian Fraser. Toby Miller is there or thereabouts and looking to improve his position. Back there hey, is the 55 there. Toby, he's back in four. So the 29 on the plate moving out there. That'll be uh, Jed uh, Tootle Coralius. But I'll tell you what, Jai Copeland, he's been challenged by Fraser out the front. Pretty tight back there. Miller looks like he might have got through for third. 13 to 14, girls cruiser. Heading down the third straight, the 8A of Courtney Oostendorp leading the way. Shayla Winwood from WA is in there for the two. Home girl Amali McKenna, she's your three spot. We've also got Richmond Schofield, Fitzpatrick and Keenan. But as they get to the finish, it's going to be Oostendorp, Winwood and McKenna. 13 to 14, boys cruiser, it's on like Donkey Kong, Harrison Sala with a great hole shot. I tell you what, Miller had to ride tough into the first berm to hang on to the two. Donlay Cooper then in for the three spot, followed by Ty Bastion and Luca Weber. But I tell you what, hole shot to home, Harrison Sala out in front, Miller two and three, Donlay Cooper.
13, 14, uh, Cruiser boys out there at the moment there. And it looks like Joel Marsh, the 2A, getting away sweetly. Then we go back to Roar and Rory Southall back in the two spot. Then it's uh, Walker in the three. Then we go back to the 40 of Jaden Morris and Harrison Sprout rounds him out. But it's all Joel Marsh over the line for the win from Southwell and Walker. All right, folks, here we have 15, 16 boys cruiser. It looks like Sam Thompson with the eight on the plate. They're leading the way, but here comes Hocking. Oh, it's down the line. They're working hard. I'll tell you what. Caught him out there by surprise there. So currently it's Damo Hocking there. But here come Thompson back there, working hard. You've got a Stuart Nord in there. Let's see the switch back there. The powerhouse down the line. He didn't swoop like a seagull, but he's going to finish like a Red Bull down the line all the way. Thompson takes it, followed by Hocking and Stuart. 15 to 16 boys, Cruiser Gate 2 heading down the second straight. Ethan Dowd leading the way. Paddy Bogner's in there on his two. We've also got Daniel Samuel, a close third. Right. McPherson, Schofield, Featherby, Fitzpatrick also in the mix. The 5VX buying back into this now. But out front, Ethan Dowd with a bike length or two. Paddy Bogner holds on to second and Samuel in third. 17-18, boys, cruiser out and about, and the defending champ, Liam Hells from Mildura, gating this one and done at the moment. We move to the two, it's going to be Ashley, uh, Jacob Gamble, sorry, in there for the two. Josh Soderman for three, followed in there, it's going to be uh, Peter Lyons, welcome back to racing, followed by the 8 via Jagakovic, but it's going to be all Liam Helms from Mildura, Gamble for two, Soderman three, Lyons four. OK, cracking start, Darren Walker, the 4A from West Australia. He leads him out. Matthew Ansell going with him, Justin Lloyd and Luke Hazelwood. But it's all Darren Walker coming around the top mark, heading back towards us here in commentary. And uh, he's opened up two or three bike lengths here, the 4A. Then we go back, and it looks like the uh, 132, or the 182, I should say, of Lloyd. Then it is the 7V of Ansell. And Luke Hazelwood rounds him out. So that'll be Walker from Lloyd and Ansell. Oh, folks, here we go, 35 to 39. Men's cruise there. Looks like it's currently Robert Slater leading the way with a 1v, 2v. Locks and low for the number two spot. That's Adam Ahern. You've got McRae in there too as well. I'll tell you, a lot of Vs. 5v. Then out through the field, the 7v. That's Nathan Bowers too. And coming out through the, the field of the 997 machine is Cranton. But I'll tell you what, too strong for this one. Once again, it'll be Robbie Slater doing it for Escort. He'll take the victory. 30 to 39, men's cruiser, gate two. Heading down the second straight, we've got Brian Slater leading the way into the second corner. Jason Hall's hard on his back wheel. Luke Daff is in there for SA. As they head downtown, it's going to be Slater from Hall, the 142 machine of Daff. He's in there for the three spot as they come through to the line. That's how they're going to finish. Slater, Hall, Daff. 40 to 44 men, and I'll tell you what, John Cobby had to ride it tough from lane eight, jump the doubles at the end of the first straight to just take the spot from Simon Ayres from the Border Club. So it's Cobby one, Ayres in two, then Lodajenski from the Sydney Club in there for three, followed by Matty French in the 182 there. That's going to be uh, Leslie Vinakis from South Australia, but it is the South Australia from Cross Keys, John Cobby taking it out, Ayres for two. Cracking start by Kamal Lord in this one. He gets away sweetly. Then it's the 8V, Ashley Morris. And then it looks like we've got Glenn Main. So it is Lord, Morris, Main. You've also got Slatter. You've got Baker, Jelliff, Hines and Booby. So out in front, Kamal Lord. He is looking good as we come down. He's opened up two or three bike lengths. But on the inside there, that looks like that will be Ashley Morris. And then it's back to the 60 and the 246. The 60 being Glenn Main. The 246, of course, is Grand Hines, the stats carry champ he's coming home but it's all Kamar Lord it's shut shut the gate he's got this one over the line for the win Oh, folks, here we go. Riders of the Pits, Riders of the Pits, all staging for semi-finals. Riders of the Pits are staging all the pits for semi-finals. Back on the gas we go, the 40-44 women there. Looks like Richie's got the upper hand of Anderson there. So Richie's got the 1V, followed by Anderson for the 2V. You've got Graham locked and loaded for the third spot. Then you've got Bennett and Amy Main working hard down the third straight. Nicely done there. They've all cleared, gone past the area. Next one up will be flying through there. It's Richie taking the win. Tess Anderson takes for two. Graham for three. That's the way they're going to finish. As they round out the uh, round out the second quarter, oh, Rebecca Charlie Smith right. got almost a straight on them now. But it looks like it's going to be uh, Davis and Flanagan in there for the two and the three. But it's Rebecca Smith in the uh, US colours. She's going to come through and grab the line. Eliza Flanagan is going to grab the two spot. 
Meanwhile, 45 to 49 men cruiser, and this is on like Donkey Kong. I tell you what, coming through now, Damian Walchuk. He's uh, in for three, but in the two, it's Craig Walchuk and Rudy Perisoni. There's not much in it. Here they come down the third straight. Perisoni on the inside pumps. Oh, all power, all skill. Wally Walchuk was too busy trying to style it up, and he lost a couple of bike legs. So Perisoni won. Walchuk of the Craig variety two, and Walchuk. Old Chuck of the Damien variety gets the three. Okay, 45, 49 men's cruiser. You've got Glenn Surrey. He's got off a cracking start yet again. Shane Jenkins goes with him, as does Sean Collins. You've got Adrian Bogner in the mix in four. You've also got Cormac and Timpson. But your leader at the moment, Glenn Surridge, the 8V on the plate, looking to make it a 1V. Then it's the 3V from the 4V. So Shane Jenkins, Sean Collins, that's your 1, 2, 3. Oh, Bogner in underneath. He's uh, looking close here for the third spot. What can he do? No, it looks like he's going to hold off in four. So it's Surridge, Jenkins, Collins. Okay, folks, here we go. 1924 Women's Cruisers working hard. Elon looks like Stag's got the whole shot working hard. Brighton locks and load for the number two as they head around the board. Will BMX Club Corner down through the third straight. It is still Stag. Brighton, Munro, but I tell you what, Morris has turned some power down through the third straight. She's working hard in there. Nicely done there. So they head for home around. They go all the way. Can Stag hold off? Yes, she can. Stag will take the win, followed by Brighton. But I tell you what, Morris is still working hard. Munro shut it down, but that's the way they're going to finish. 90 to 24, men's cruiser heading down the third straight. Braden Porter from SA. Nice bit of style work as he comes down to the third corner. Bailey Stewart is in there for the two spot. Ashley Gamble in there for the three, doing it for Ballarat. As they come through the line, though, it's going to be Braden Porter is going to take this one out. Bailey Stewart in the two and Ash Gamble in the three. Riders to the pits for semi-finals. Riders to the pits for semi-finals. That's the 8 to 10 boys cruiser. 8 to 10 boys cruiser, riders to the pits for semi-final. Meanwhile, out and about, 35 to 39 women's cruiser, Kitty Cristiano taking the lead on this one, followed by Megan Harvey in for two. Then we've got Rebecca Tolman and... Uh and Rebecca Coffell, sorry, too many Rebeccas for me. But it's going to be whole shot to home. Kitty, Kitty Cristiano taking this one out. Megan Harvey for two. And then the two Rebeccas, three and four. 50 plus men's cruiser there out there and doing it. It's Greg Kelly again looking good. Then we go back to the 4V and Lance Mojica. And then it is the 5V, Patrick O'Callaghan. Pretty tight back there in four and five between uh, the 1A, or the 1V I should say, and Brian Alexander and Andrew Wilgoose. But Greg Kelly takes it out for the win. Oh, folks, here we go. Retro Junior class out there working hard. I tell you what, oh, I tell you what. <laughs> Nicely working, Lazarus is there, locks and load there. Works his way down through there, so Todd goes for the two. So 1V versus 2V. Then you've got also Tudor in there. It seems to be the 4, the uh, 134's got a mechanical as we get back on the gas for the retro. It's still Logan Lazarus here working up, but Todd still's got some power. They go down there through the field working out. Oh, here comes Lachlan Beebe. He's made a move there. He's locked in the third spot, the 9 machine, but what's going to happen with Tudor? Can he keep going? You've got Bettany out through the field too as well on the 38 there of Hindmarsh there, but down the line all the way. It's going to be a ding-dog final when it comes to the end. But Logan Lazarus takes it, followed by Todd. And Booby, he just takes that one from two towel. Oh, here we go. We've got uh, race 136, Retro Class Junior, gate two. The early jump came from the 55 machine. That'll be Marcus Walker leads into the first corner. The 8V follows him through. That's Casey Patterson. Kai Stevenson's in there as well. So is Tara Fitzpatrick and Angus Corbett. Love the work that's gone into these bikes. These are the retro junior bikes. Walker with the lead now. His E bolts down that third straight. Patterson and Stevenson are having their own battle. Looks like Patterson's now pulling out a bit of a uh, bit of a lead. Switch up of tyres for this race, I like it. Stevenson's in there as well. So is Fitzpatrick and the 112 of, of uh, Corbett. But as they get to the line, Walker's going to grab this one from Patterson and Stevenson. 14-29 retro, they're out there and doing it. Mitchell Lord got off a cracking start. The 2V on the plate is looking good. Then we go back to the 47 and the 4A. So the 4A being Harry Schofield, ducks in underneath. Mitchell Lord is leading them out there and uh, Nick Searle there, bar for bar. But it's uh, Mitchell Lord takes it out. Nick Searle just might get it over Harry Schofield.
Next gate, 14 to 29, Retro and Slam and Sam Thompson out in front. Corey Stammer, the Yu Yang specialist in there for the two spot. Followed, he's got the moves like Jagger in for three. Followed by the 432, Aiden Fitzpatrick and Alicia Patterson. But it is all Sam Thompson, whole shot to home. Stammer settles for two, Kovic for three. Retro 30 to 39, heading downtown. The number 12, Luke Pretlove with the air work as he dropped into the first corner. We've got McRae in there. Navant, Ansel and Brown. We'll just pick out who we're missing, but it's the 12 machine. Pretlove leading from the 1V. That'll be uh, that'll be Gordon McRae. The 151, Navant is in there for the three in the 64 of Ansel. Looks like Russell Brand's out this one out. But they come through the line. It's going to be Pretlove from McRae from Navant. Oh, folks, here we go once again. We're working through the 50-plus men cruise event number 134. It's going to be Compot leading the way, followed by Jumping, uh, sorry, Jolly, not Wayne Jolly, not Jumping. He's, he's come going through the field. Compot in there, Jolly in the mix there, working in the mix there. The 152, Jeffrey Burrell, working hard down through the line, nicely done there. It's up and over they go, super job in there. Then it's going to be the 150 machine. That'll be Robert Vanderless in there, and don't forget Andrew Simmons in there. But I tell you what, too strong all the way. Compot will take the win. Retro 40 plus, it's a pack race, look at this, oh, <laughs> Robin's racing fellas, oh, I'll tell you what, in the meantime, Adam Glanville somehow negotiates his way through, Ashley Crange is in there for the two, Danny Booby got squeezed in there, but he comes through in for the three, oh, great work, but look up the inside now, the 5V, that's Stevenson, he squeezes Booby and sends him up the top of the berm, so it's going to be Glanville one, oh, I'll tell you what, it's going to the one, Oh, here they come. Don't back out of it. Oh, what a race in for two. I think that was Axel. More re retro 40 plus action. And Darren James, the 1V, gets out sweetly. But I tell you what, Trevor Weber doing a great job too on the inside there and uh, working hard. So Weber's actually taken the lead from uh, James. They're going back there. You've got Mark McCurry, you've got Searle in there as well. Sam Graham, Alistair Scott, and David Gill. But to the line, looks like it'll be. The 2v Trevor Weber for the win over Darren James. Meanwhile, semi-final time now. They're locking and loading. Eight to ten boys cruiser. Semi-final one, World 5, Cameron Gatt. 85, Regan Schatter. 6A, Caden Underhill. 887, Harvey Brooks. 848, Jaden Picken. 226, Seiko Bain. Top four, make it through to the final. Bottom two, pack it up for the day. Apologies early if we're concentrating on the all-important fourth spot. That's where we'll focus. Who's going to make it through to the final? Looks like they're set. Gate drops, 8 to 10 boys, semi-final one, Cameron Gatt showing them all while he's world five out in front, in for two, it's going to be Caden Underhill, three, Regan Shafter locks it in, the all-important four is Jaden Picken at the moment, Harvey Brooks now looking for the battle, this is it, side by side, who's going to get the four spot, Picken on the inside, Brooks comes across, he grabs the four, so it's Gatt for one, Underhill for two, Shafter for three, Harvey Brooks with the all-important Four spot to make it through to the final. Pickens not done yet. He's trying to find his way through. So Gats locked and loaded for the one. Underhill locked and loaded for two. Shafter, Brooks having to defend and he will take the all important four and transfer to the final. All right, to then poise. Cruiser, semi-final number two. Samuel has got the early jump. The 5A's in there of Jesse Paul. Tyler Hall's there in the three spot. We've also got Jake Chaplin, Phoenix Stevis, and Max Castle. But out front, it's Ivas. Paul is in there as well. Hall is in there for the three spot. So your leaders at the moment, we got Ivas, Paul, Hall, the 8A, Max Castle, he's your fourth place rider. So that's what we're going to look at. The drag race is on for the line now. It's going to be Samuel Avas, Jesse Paul, Tyler Hall, and Max Castle grabs that four spot. Okay, looks like we're ready to go. So 
race one of our mini wheels final one is the 19 on the plate taylor thomas with the 63 on the plate from victoria jacob e Ayurst. With the 99 on the plate, also from Victoria, Fletcher Pollard. With the 286 on the plate from Victoria, Heath Wilson. With the 108 on the plate, also from Victoria, Emily Slater. Oh, we've got away from Emily. With the 25 on the plate, Brody Wilson. And finally, with the 36 on the plate from Victoria, Piper McDonald. Well done, Piper. Okay, guys, we've got school riders. Are we ready? Are we set? Go! Oh, Piper knows what it's all about. She's flown the coop. Wilson's in there. Pollard's in there. AS for good measure. Taylor Thomas taking the outside run. We've got Brody Wilson. Arguably the youngest winning mini wheeler out there today. But it looks like Piper McDonald. She's all eyes as she heads for the third corner. Comes through. Bit of a look back. Yep, they're miles back. Ayurst is in there. Pollard's in there. Wilson's in there. Wilson also. And Slater. Couple being left behind there. Oh, they're going to look like Thomas has got some company. But as they come down the last straight, the 36 machine, Piper McDonald, she's going to grab this one over the line. And the 286 of Heath Wilson. He's made a late charge. He's got the number two spot. The 99 machine, Fletcher Pollard. He's going to grab the three. And then the 63, Jacob E. Ayers, followed home by Wilson, Thomas, and Slater. Over to you, Was. Oh, there we go, folks. Yeah, that was... Um Gate one here in Mato for you. So can you cast right of the third straight there for gate two of the Mini Wheelers with a plate number 41, Solemn Collingwood. With a plate number 998. All the way from SA, Cootie Crompton. With a plate number 43 from Victoria, Miles Delos. With a plate number 89 from Victoria, Boo Beatman. With a plate number 165 from Victoria, Alicia Bound, and to round them off. With a 156 from Victoria, Zara Sprout. Good luck to all riders. Mini wheelers, are you ready? Steady. Pip, 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 go! Gate drops out. We go once again. That looks like Alicia Bounds working hard down the third straight. They go there, but tell you what, on the hills. Oh, Zara Sprout, one's down. She's back up there. Mum's going to make sure she's okay, but she's as tough as nails. Have a look at her fire through there. Nicely done. Good to see you. Got a couple of the runners there making sure they're okay. Still flying through the field. It's going to be bound right now, working hard, but hot on the hills of the 9 9 -er. That's Crampton. Have a look at them power down through the line. Neck and neck all the way they go super fun neck and neck down through the line there nicely done there it's going to be the 43 that's miles locks in for the number three spot zara Sprout comes up got some more power too Bo bateman don't forget two as well you got solemn collingwood have a look at the powerhouses they're up and over standing across the line super work well done to all the riders it's going to be bound Sprout, collingwood delos crampton and bateman over to the start gate fellas as we locked and load for the Final time today of all the cruisers. Okay, we're going to kick it off with the cruisers. We're going through to the sprockets and then the retro to finish off. So on the gate, it's the 8 to 10 girls cruiser final with a 327 on the plate, Haley Stokes. With a 6V on the plate, Lily Corbett. With a 4 1 on the plate, Stephanie Alexander. And with a 55 on the plate, Sheridan Pickin. Good luck, riders.
Gay slams down and they get away for their fourth moto. Here they go. And it's another cracking start by the 41. Stephanie Alexander. This will make it four from four if she can do it. And the 6V going with her. That's Lily Corbett. But on the inside, the 327. Hayley Stokes decides to pull it out. And uh, going with them too is Sheridan Pickett. But Stephanie Alexander, she's opened up a big lead already. She is flying here in the 8 to 10 girls cruiser. The fourth moto. She is looking good. Stephanie Alexander, the Victorian. Big cheers for her as she comes down. And this third straight, she's got about oh, oh, half a straight length, I'd say. She is looking good. Bit of a gap back there between the other two, three. That is, you've got Lily Corbett, you've got Sheridan Pig, and you've got Hayley Stokes. They're all around it. Here we go. But as they come down, but uh, as we come down here and all the way to the line, this will be Alexander takes the win. Meanwhile, 8 to 10 boys cruise around and about. Cameron Gatz locked and loaded with the one. We got Samuel Evass and Jesse Paul in the two and the three. Cameron Gatt, he's gone on this one. Just keep it upright, he'll hang on to it. Shafter also moving into the five spot. So it's going to be Cameron Gatt out in front. In for the two spot, Jesse Paul. Here comes Samuel Evass trying to move around the outside. Can he make it stick? 25 to go. Gatt out in front. Paul hanging on for dear life. Evass will have to set for the three. 11 to 12, boys cruiser final. Josh Jolly jumps into the first corner. He's got the 4V William Sala for company as they head down the second straight. Cade Mars has made a miraculous uh, recovery to get into the three spot. Jai Copeland's in there for the four. We also got Jackson Sala, Fraser, Woolley. But meanwhile, Josh Jolly leading the way. The 4V, William Salas in there for the two spot. Cade Marsh in there for the three spot. Jai Copeland, though, is not done with yet. He's hunting for the three. But as they come to the finish, jumping Josh Jolly from William Salas and Cade Marsh. Oh, folks, here we go there, 13, 14 girls working hard there. That's awesome. They've got the power down through the line there, working there. She's got the number one spot. Couldn't see the other ones, but I'll tell you what there, it's fast racing here by the girls. They work around the Warnerball corner there nicely on there. It is still going to be all sort of. She's got the number one spot. Who's got the number two? It's doing a great job working through the third straight. It's going to be the 4A. So it's Winwood for third. You've got the 2V working hard too as well. That'll be Amelia McKenna. She locks for the three. Here we go, down the line, the drag race all the way. It's going Going to be taking the line all the way. Orsendorf takes the number one V, followed by the remaining riders. Cracking start by John Marsh yet again. Going with him is Harrison Sala, the ace race champ. You've got Corey Miller in the mix. Rory Southwell, Dante Cooper, Marcus Walker, Ty Bastion and Luca Weber. But it's all Joel Marsh. He's opened up a big gap. Sala back in the two, then in the three there. That looks like Southwell. And going there as well as Miller, working hard. But your leader at the moment is led from start to finish. This will be four from four today. Joel Marsh takes the win. Harrison Sala will get the two. Miller gets the three over Southwell. Good finish. 15-16, boys, and Pat Bogner goes over the gates. He drops out, out in front. Oh, the 56, Ethan down, cases it. He was going side by side with Thompson. Oh, so in the, in the lead now, Sam Thompson out in front. It looks like uh, Diesel, Samuel in there for the two spot. Blythe in for three now. So it's all to play for now as Sam Thompson coming through. Diesel in for the two spot. Blythe in for three in the 53 machine. That's Kane Stewart in for the four. Down down to the final straight, it's neck and neck now. Thompson just ahead, he'll take the state title. In for two, Daniel Samuel, third, Byron Blythe. Let's put your hands together here for Pat Bogner, the 37 machine. He went over the gate at the start. He's now rolling it around. And also let's give him a big cheer. He's with the uh, medical team at the number 56 from Victoria, Ethan Dowd. Let's show your appreciation, ladies and gentlemen. He's about to get up. He jumped the jump and tagged the front wheel. Seventeen, eighteen, boys cruiser final heading down the first straight right now. Great start from lane one. That'll be the one V of Liam Helms. 
The 7VX of Jacob Gamble gets in there in the two spot. Joshy Soderman's in there for three. We've also got Jagger Govic and Peter Lyons, but it's Liam Helms with a bike length or two. Soderman's trying to make some spots on Gamble as they come down the third straight. So it's Helms, Gamble, Soderman as they drop into the third corner. How are they going to finish? They line up the finish line right now. It's going to be Liam Helms is going to grab this one from Jacob Gamble and Josh Soderman. Oh, folks, here we go once again. 19 to 29 women working down the straight there. It's Brighton there, but here comes Sag on the inside. She's got that 4V in front right now. Let's see if she can turn it to a 1V right now as they work their way down through the second straight. It's still currently Stag working hard. Brighton locks in for the number two spot all the way from New South Wales. Neck and neck. This is a Moto 4 2 as well, so the results will be totaled down the end there. It is still Stag working hard, followed by Brighton. You've got Munro and Morris, but Morris is going to try and turn some power down through the line all the way. But here he goes, Brighton. It's a dog race finish all the way down the line there. Stag, Brighton, neck and neck. Can Brighton make some moves? No, she can't. Stag, Brighton, followed by Munro and Morris. Meanwhile, 19 to 24 boys out and about, and Braden Porter from Cross Keys in South Australia leading the charge on this one. Uh, looks like Ashley Gamble had a problem on the gate, couldn't quite get out of it, so he's dropped back to the three spot. Bailey Stewart in there for two. They're taking it easy by the looks of them. Looks like Braden just styling and dialing it. Nice jumping as he goes down the third straight. Bailey Stewart just keeping it upright, saving the legs for tomorrow. Ashley Gamble with the 4V settling for three. Okay, 30-34 men's cruiser final or Moto 4, we're away. You've got Darren Walker, Justin Lloyd, Luke Hazelwood, Matthew Ansel, and it's uh, Darren Walker gets away sweetly, and he is looking good. So uh, at the moment, he's leading down there, the West Australian. He's come for the win, and this will make it four from four today in the 30-34 to 34 men's cruisers. So coming down here, he's opened up half a straight lead and styling up down into this final berm. Pretty tight back there in second and third. Matthew Ansel going at it with... Uh, um, Justin Lloyd. So uh, let's see how this one goes. That's where all the interest is because it shut the gate for Walker. He's got the win. Looks like it might be Lloyd over Ansel. 30 to 39 women's. Moto 4 heading down the second straight at the moment. Kitty Christiana had a great jump. She led into the first corner. Megan Harvey is in there for the two spot. Rebecca Koffel and Beck Tolman are in there as well. Beck's managed to find some time to race as well as help organize this event. But Kitty Cristiano leading the way. The 170 machine, Megan Harvey is in there for the two. The 5V, Beck Tolman's in there for the three. And they're going to be chased home by Rebecca Koffel. Although it's going to be Kitty Cristiano for the win. 35 to 39 men's cruiser and it's the Slatter Brothers one and two. Hawley settles in there for the three spot and it looks like also in the party Adam Ahern and Gamish McRae. So it's going to be Robbie Slatter one, Brian Slatter in for two. Hawley working hard on those cranks around the berm for the three at the moment. Then coming through now looks like Danny Booby trying to make the spot. No, it's Gordo McRae, sorry. Gordo McRae in for four but Robbie Slatter whole shot to home. He'll be your Victoria champion. Brian Slatter two here comes out of a hern. Hawley trying to hang on for the podium. Oh, he gets it. Hawley for three. I think a hern and Kamish. Photo for four. Oh, folks, here we go. 40, 49 women out there. Looks like Tess Anderson's got the whole shot working up. But I'll tell you what, Richardson's not going to hold back on this one here. It's neck and neck battle. Anderson versus Richie. They've got Graham locks in for the third. Bennett for four as well, two as well. Then you've got Amy Main in the fifth spot there. Coming around the corner. This is the Moto 4 there. So I'll tell you what, it's going to be a tight finish all the way down the line. It is still Tess Anderson. She's got the 2V. She's hunting for the 1V. Can she do it? Here comes Richie, too, as well. She's got the extra pump. What's going to happen down? the last straight bar to bar action all the way oh I'll tell you what Richardson puts a nose in front Anderson slows it down so Graham comes out for second so currently Richie won Anderson takes the three and Graham for two Okay, looks like a great start by Kamal Lord. He leads them out. Then we've got the 6A in there. That's John Cobby. You've got Simon Ayres in there also. Pierre Lodiginski moving up into four. And we just lost one there. That was the 8V and Ashley Morris. Looks like he might have to settle for 8V again this year. But out in front, it's all Kamal Lord. He is leading them down. But I tell you what, John Cobby coming home hard, as is um, Simon Ayres. So Ayres the inside line. Let's see how this goes. So he gets it done on Cobby. Cobby gets checked. But it's all Kamal Lord to the line. Kamal Lord's going to win this one as he 
comes down and it'll be uh, Simon Ayres for the two. And in the three, that will be John Cobby. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for your fallen rider. That's Ashley Morris. Gay drops in the 45 to 49 men's cruiser. We've got Eliza Flanning and Rebecca Smith, Tanya Mundy and Tamara Davis. The 4A of Rebecca Smith leads them into the first corner. The 3V of Eliza Flanning and into the two spot. Tanya Mundy picked herself up after the first moto. A very brave third place right now. Tamara Davis is in there as well. As they roll down that hard second straight, they're in the second corner. It looks like it's going to be uh, Rebecca Smith leading them. That's the 4A-plated rider. She comes down to the third corner. So Rebecca Smith, we've got Eliza Flanagan. Tanya Mundy's making up some room now as well as they come down to the third corner. The triple one machine, that Tamara Davis, is in there as well. This is her first state titles. As they come through to the line, though, it's going to be Rebecca Smith grabs this one from a fast-finishing Tanya Mundy. Rebecca Smith and Tamara Davis. 45 to 49 men cruiser out they pop and Wally Walchuk got a great start but the super coach Glenn Curry Scourge gets onto the afterburners shuts them all down takes the lead Wally Walchuk in for two then it looks like the three V a jinx slotting in there for the three spot so it's Surridge the super coach out in one Walchuk rails it around for two rip up move there that was jinx comes in for three at the battles on now down the third straight Surridge Walchuk here comes the 4A machine, a Parasoni up the inside, and oh, he slips the back wheel, and it leads Boggs now, coming through Adrian Bogner for the four. So it'll be Surridge one, Walchuk two, Jenkins, Bogner. Oh, folks, here we go. 50-plus men's cruiser on the gate as we sit there. It's working hard. It's Compot Jolly neck and neck, but here comes Kelly Tills. Oh, hits the skids. He tried to drift around the first corner, but couldn't make it stick. It is still Compot Jolly there. Then let's have a look as they bunch up through the rest of the field there. A one and two lot. They're going to be working up, but I'll tell you what, Jolly's got more left in the, in the tank. It is still Dave Compot leading the way. Let's see what's going to happen. Jolly for two. Then you've got Kelly out through the third spot too as well. Let's have a look. as a 4V in the mix here, working hard to. That's Mahook. I'll tell you what, as a medal bike for ages, comes to the state titles and flies out through the field. Nice work, but I'll tell you what, the 150 turns on, but too strong. Compot, Jolly, followed by Kelly for the 50 plus. Woo. Okay, our Sprocket, the five and under Sprocket girls get away for the last time today. You've got Penny Simmons, Jovi Benny, Eva Sylvester, Montana Rogers, Esther Daff and Eva Cully. And as it's been all day, Eva Cully gets away sweetly. Then it's the 154 of Penny Simmons. And here comes Eva Sylvester, the big roar. There she goes. And then it's the 50 of Jovi Benny, the 70 back there, Esther Daff and the 184 of Montana Rogers. So that's a great lead at the moment, Eva Cully. And the one in three, turn three. That's exactly right. Awesome stuff. So out in front, we've got Eva Cully. She's doing a great job there. Penny Simmons in the two. And then it's um, Eva Sylvester. So we've got a couple of Evas here looking good. But I tell you what, the tide's turning out the front. Eva Cully looking good. She is holding off a very fast finishing Penny Simmons, saving her best for last. Here comes... Uh, Eva Sylvester, the Tiger, Miss DRT, growling, having a look. Where are those other girls? I better chase them down. She's under threat from Esther Daff. It's really good racing. Jovi Benning in that uh, five spot, and the six belongs to Montana Rogers. But over the line goes Eva Cully. Five and under Sprocket, boys. Gate one, Ryder Brooks leading into the first corner. Oh, Mitchy Sala's in there for the two spot. We got Nicholas Salau, Freddie Coot, Jarrett Benning, and Zachary Vincent. But meantime, Ryder Brooks pulling a bike back down. Mitchy Sala's got some comfy, uh, some company there as they head into the second corner. This is our five and under Sprocket, boys. So it's Brooks. Already heading down the third straight. Salah's mounting a challenge to get back that two spot. The 238 machine, meanwhile, Jarrah Benning, he's saying, come and get me. The 132 machine, Freddie Coote, he's in there for the four spot. As they turn the third, head for the finish line. It's going to be Ryder Brooks leading him home. Jarrah Benning's going to grab the two spot. Michi Salah's going to grab the three.
Oh, folks, here we go once again. The five and under sprocket boys there. Moto four, gate two. Have a look at them go. Up and over the first row. They clear the first one, the second. They're into the bitchman. It's a two, three, one. That's going to be rich. They're working hard. The one, five, four, two. Slamming around. That's Noah Bateman. All the way from Northern Park. Then you've got Declan too as well. Declan Morris. Look at them go. I tell you what, they're getting some air work too as well over the tabletop. So currently it's Richardson all the way through the field. Bateman in there. Morris too. Don't forget your Owen Slater. You've also got uh, Leisha Lloyd in the mix there. And Peter Fry too as well. There's a couple down. Oh no. Hopefully they're okay. Good to see we've got the officials in the mix there working down through the line. Super work here. But let's have a look at the front runners. It's a 2 3 1. Smashing the gate all the way. That's Richardson. Super work. Here comes a 1 5 4. Nearly made the move but couldn't make a stick in there. The 88 machine. That's uh, Lloyd too as well. The 108. Super work. That'll be also slow and Slater. Looks like we're not sure who's missing here. But have a look at the fun for participation race. They're all the way to the line. Oh, folks, here we go. Make some noise here for the fallen riders. One's made a zigzag to the finish line, but it's also the 2-2-3. Two, two, That's going to be Peter Fry. Watch him fly. Gate slams. Down they come. Ivy Rollins gets a great little pop there as well. So too Isabella Crampton. She'll be in the two spot. But it's Ivy, the Blackman's rider from New South Wales. Gemma Lee Thomas giving her a bit of a cheer. The pro rider giving her a cheer on. Then we've got uh, the 40, Isabella Crampton, followed by Lucy McDonald. Then we drop to Felicity Hibbert and Briley Woolley. Great to see the superclass ladies rider. Gemma Lee Thomas giving her teammate Ivy Rollins a cheer as she comes around the first berm. She'll sign the helmet later on, I'm sure. But anyway, out in front, Ivy Rollins doing a great job. Look at her style it down this technical third straight. All style. She's got the race face on, the goggles, the whole shoot match. Look at the moves of Lucy McDonald. Oh, ripper third straight. She pulls, to, ties the pink hair back on the helmet. She moves from three to two. She's got her eyes on uh, Ivy now. Ivy out in front. Lucy McDonald in the two spot. 25 metres to go. Ivy's going to hold on. Lucy McDonald, ripper third straight for two. Then Isabella Crampton, Felicity Hibbard, and Briley Woolley. Six boys, Sprockers, you've got Max Van Halt, Ty Classens, Matthew Gill, Liam Steinlauf, Reese Stevenson, Cooper Murray, Hudson Baker and Jackson Jones. And it's a 2-2-9 out in front there. That's Cooper Murray doing a great job. So as we come down there, and it's great to see Ty Classens back after that big off earlier today. So he's back there in about sixth position, but he's fighting on hard. Good to see as he comes down there. But I tell you what, cracking start by Cooper Murray, the South Australian. He's heading down this third straight. Look at that style. He is looking good. Couple more years he'll be in the money, but he's uh, fighting on hard. You've got Liam Steinlaff right there. Then it's the 17 of Matthew Gill. Then we go back to the 32 of Max Van Holt there, looking good. Then it's the 20 one of the young man Ty Classens who had the crash earlier but he's good the 153 Reese Stevenson and rounding them out there it's uh, Baker and Jones but over the line big win to Cooper Murray Ah, uh, six brackets gate two heading down the second straight that'll be the 912 of Isaac Isaac Sylvester from New South Wales going down that uh, second straight in front. We got Bodie Katana in there for the two spot. Thomas Crotty's in there. So is Kobe Brunton, Wilfred McKibben, Joey Rogers, and Zane Payton. But it's Sylvester leading the way. The 58 machine at Katana is putting on a challenge. The 184 of Rogers is in there, a three spot. Thomas Crotty from Frankston's in there as well with the four. But as they head for the line, the 58 machine got the run off the corner. Sylvester goes back a spot now. So the 58 machine, Bodie Katana grabs his one. Sylvester in the two, Joey Rogers in the three. So six bracket boys again, here we go for the fourth time today. Mitchell Osborne, Jude Daff, Ryan Hall, Hamish Pollard, Archer Patch, Richard Odgers and Lucas Sturzaka. So your leader at the moment is the 69, but a nice move in underneath. Ryan Hall gets it done over Jude Daff. I tell you what, great racing there. The little uh, Victorian there, he's leading out the uh, South Australian. So Ryan Hall, he is in the lead. Jude Daff back in the two, but he'll come back. Here he comes back at him now. Oh, this lead changing backwards forwards. 
Roberts. Daff's now taking the lead. Here we go as they come down. Ryan Hall and Daff as they go at it. Daff, Hall, Daff. Daff now gets into the lead. Hall back there. I think the lead changed four times. They're looking good out in front. Here we go. Nice little move in underneath, but it looks like it's uh, Daff and Hall going at it. Daff and Hall. Daff will take it from Hall. Nice uh, racing there from those two young guns. You've got Pollard, Patch, Odgers, Sturzacker and Osborne. Seven Sprocket girls in this race is normally like a Tour de France where Lacey Gray's the early leader and the Peloton trying to catch her. It's the Lacey uh, out in front, in for two. It's going to be Jacqueline Waters, the freight train of Gracie Pigros. Here she comes, the freight train. It's going to be Lacey Gray. She knows Gracie will be coming at her. In for three, it's Jacqueline Waters. Then Summer Thomas and Jessica Robb. Oh, Gracie has the fall. So Lacey will take this one out. In for two, Jacqueline Waters. Gracie now picking herself up. The 192, Summer Thomas moves through into the three spot. Here comes the 27, Jessica Robb. That's Gracie Peergross that had the crash. Lacey Gray takes it whole shot to home. Let's give a cheer. Yeah, Gracie Peergross is up and about. Okay, seven Sprocket boys are out there. Aidan Ashcroft going at it with Roman Brown. So the two South Australians, they're leading them out. They'll just have to be careful as they come down and his eyes up for all the riders as they come through here. But Aidan Ashcroft, he has had to sit back behind Roman Brown. Brown has moved into the lead, but Ashcroft's not done with. Then we go back to the 45 of Kane Hazelwood. Pretty tight back there between the 170 of Archie Shields and Darcy Fraser. You've got the 44 in the mix as well. Jackson Brown and rounding him out is the 277 of Ryan. Jones and uh, your last uh, rider there getting back on Gracie Peergrace good to see but I tell you what big win from Roman Brown give them all a round of applause they get it over the line I'll give her a cheer Gracie Peergrace as she comes across the line from the previous race seven sprockers gate two released upon the track good start from Brown goes back a little bit over the double miles Davies from WA pops into the number one spot, the 365, 325. Tyler Wood from SA, he settles into the two. The 90 machine of Brown in the three. We've also got Mercury, Delosti, Fowler. But leading the way, Davies is starting to come under a bit of pressure now. Wood's on his hammer. Brown start to uh, find the cranks as well as they come down that third straight. Wind starting to play a bit of an effect here. But uh, looks like Miles Davies has the fitnesses at the moment. They come through to the final corner. Wood's in there as well. Brown takes a nice low line to try and make up some ground. Oh, here we go. The fight is on for the finish line. Here comes the South Australian. Who's going to grab it? Oh, they're going to be three wide to the line. Looks like it might be Davies from Wood and Brown. Oh, nice work. Once again, another one here. The Seven Sprockets boys have a look at the powerhouse as we speak. It looks like Lucas Hagel's going to take the whole shot. He works around the Waterville corner. He locks into the one spot, followed by Regan. Sorry, Lockie Shafter working hard in the number two. Shellis for three, two as well. Look at the powerhouses all the way through the field. You've got Foley in there too. Nolan as well. And Lowry, but right now in the front, the DK Riders doing a great job out there. Working over here comes Shafter. Down the line, he's turned the extra power. Gets some air work. One pumps, one jumps out through the line. Neck and neck they go, but Lucas Hagel takes no one, followed by Shaft, and the remaining riders come out through the field. Meanwhile, seven Sprocket boys out and about and out in front. The W8 Cade McNamara from South Australia showing them all why he's a world-plated rider. You don't get those in your Wheaties in the morning, kids. You've got to earn them. Chase Foe from Victoria in for the two spot. David Kill from uh, Skill from South Australia in for three. Coming through now. It looks like it's going to be the 168 of Thomas Alexander. Then we drop to Tate Julian and William Driscoll. But it's all a W8 Cade McNamara taking this one out. Retro class juniors, 8 to 13s, here they go. Cracking start by Marcus Walker. Logan Lazaridis goes with him, as does Samuel Todd. And I tell you what, Kai Stevenson, Lachlan Booby, Lincoln Bettany, Jed Tootle Coralius, and Casey Patterson. But it's all Marcus Walker, the 55 on the plane, looking to pick up a 1V in the retro. Here he goes. Logan Lazaridis in the two, fighting on hard, back in three. Looks like that'll be the 2V of Samuel Todd. So that's your 1, 2, 3. We go back. Then it looks like Jed Tootle Coralius back there in four. So uh, your leader at the moment though, Marcus Walker, getting away sweetly. He's going to win this one from Logan Lazaridis and in the three spot, that'll be Samuel Todd. 
Oh, here we go. Retro 14 to 29 final. Great start there from Sam Thompson. Ord up his inside. We've got the downhill specialist going around the outside. Corey Sazama. Here we go. They set themselves up into the second corner. Oh, that's the sound of Holy Rollers scraping on the bitumen there. But it's the 1V leading the way. Sam Thompson. Stora Corey Sazama coming at him now. The 2V of Mitchell Ord's in there. We've also got uh, Searle up to four. Govic back to five or six. But as they come through to the line, it's going to be Sam Thompson. Grabs it from Corey Sazama and Mitchell Ord. Oh, folks, here we go once again. It's a retro 30 plus. Oh, styling it up nicely. He's got the helmet to work to as well. That's Luke Pretlove there. Have a look at him go. God help us out there. He's having a ripper time. You got McRae locks in for the number two spot. Nice done. The 161. The 151. Sorry, that's Brendan too as well. Nice done. But here we go. Pretlove. I reckon he'll get the 1V first time on a retro bike here at the state titles. Nicely done. The 1V there. Working out. That's McRae. The 151. Brendan takes a third spot. And you got Harry, uh, sorry, Matty Ansel. He's in the number four, but too strong for this one is a retro guru, Luke Pretlove. Retro 40 blast final and Neil Searle misses the pop. Adam Glanville from three now gets the charge as well. But coming out in front, Darren James. He's got a couple of bike legs up the inside. Glanville moves to two with a ripper move. Alistair Scott tries to join the party as well. Glanville smashing it out now, but it's going to be Darren James leading this one in the retro gear. Looking the goods out in front. Coming down the third straight. So it's going to be Darren James followed by the... 107. That's going to be Alistair Scott. Then Neil Searle picking his way through the pack. He's in for three, but no one's going to catch him from Queensland. Darren James will take it out. Neil Searle over the top for two. Ripper work. Alistair Scott, South Australia three, Glanville four. So we're going to kick up with the mini wheelers. So Craig, let's bring on the mini wheelers. I'm going to call out the mini wheelers. I will definitely call them out for sure. So we have Jacoby Iris. I've got the sheep. Perfect. Jacoby Iris, 63. Bo Bateman, number 89. The 165, Alicia Bown. The 41 Machine, Solomon Collingwood. We've got Cody Cramp Co Kobe Crampton. The 998, the 43, Miles Delos. We then also have the 36 machine, Piper McDonald. The 128, Tully Morell. The 99 machine, Fletcher Pollard. That's it, kids. Come on, grab up, jump on the podium. We then also have Emily Slater. Zara Sprout with a 156. The number 19, Taylor Thomas. The 25 machine of Brody Wilson. And the 286 machine of Wilson, Heath Wilson. I'll tell you, this is the exciting time here. There's always smiles on the faces. The parents are excited. They want to get the photo too. So kids, you can jump around on the podium if you need to. Big smiles on the faces. Have a look at them. Helmets with legs is what we call it. There we go, folks. The sprockets here. Oh, no, these are the mini wheels, I should say, not the sprockets. Big waves, big smiles. We've got a lot of, you know, behind the camera, guys, you don't see what we see, and it's amazing. The kids have got the biggest smile, the parents have got even bigger smiles, too, as well. Congratulations to all the mini wheelers. So there we go, folks. The pavilion will still be here tomorrow. If you're going to pop on down to get more photos, they're happy to wear the race gear. Congratulations to all the mini wheelers. Next up, we're going to do, have we done the mini wheelers cam? Yes, we have.
Next up we have the five and under Sprocket Rockets. So we have JV Benny in plate number 50. The 524 of Eva Cully. The 70 machine of Esther Duff. The 184 of Matona, Matona, Montana Rogers. The 154 of Penny Simmons. And then we have the 913 of Eva Sylvester from New South Wales. Let's have a look at the uh, under five Sprocket girls. So just a reminder too, folks, they are live. So the closer you get to the podium, the more you see yourself on camera. So there we go. Esther, you've got to come on up too. Come up and get on the podium. Ah, oh, look at the smiles on their face. That's great. Excellent work. Well done to the ladies. Oh, I've got another one. One more coming. Over you go, Eva. Come stand right here. Perfect. Big smiles. All I hear is click, click, click all the way through. Cam, we've got one more little champion too. Cam. That's all right. We've got uh, Celeste here too. This one? Another under five girl. Next up, we're going to have the five and under boys. So, folks, we're going to have the 154 and Noel Bateman. Then we have the 238, Jarrah Benning. The 152 of Ryder Brooks. We also have the 132 of Freddie Coots. The 223 machine of Peter Fry. The 88 machine of Dashiell Lloyd. The 100 machine of Declan Morris. The 231 of Leo Richardson. We then also have Mitchell Sale, the 131. Nicholas Sula, the 23 machine. Owen Slater. And we also have Zachary Vincent too as well. Congratulations. Okay, that were the five boys we've just called. They've got their prizes, they're coming up on the podium too as well. The dads and mums are super excited. I love this. Parents get in front of the camera because you see right there, wave to the camera, wave to the people over in live stream. It's all about the kids having fun today. So kids, if you've got your awards coming up, get a photo, you can smile and wave to everyone.
So, Peter, have a look here, mate. Peter, see this camera here? You've got to wave to your dad because you can say, Hi, Dad, I'm here in Victoria. Look what I got. What an amazing story. So it looks like we're nearly done the five and under Sprocket Boys. Bit of a wave once you've got your photos. Jump on down. Or should I say step on down. Okay, next up we're going to have the six Sprocket Girls. Six pocket girls, can we please have Isabella Crampton, Felicity Herbert with a number 80 machine, the 149 of Lucy McDonald, the 60 machine of Ivy Rollins, and the 365 of Breely Woolley. That's it, buddy. Come on up here, Star Wars. You go, 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 go the top plate, mate. Here you go. Up you come. Whoop. One more. There you go. And put your finger out and go like this. There we go. We'll make it look nice and special for him. There we go. And then do number one. Number one in having fun. Now step this way. That's it. Do this. There we go. Drop it down. There we go. Now put your finger up and go like this. That's it. There we go. Now look at your dad and smile away. Great work. So I've got the girls here ready to go too as well. These are the six Brocket girls. They've all lined up ready to go, which is great. Bella, Isabella, come on up here, step up this one. Up you go. Up one more. And there you go. Where's your mum? There's your mum. Over there. Over there, wave. Oh, there's someone. Great work. Quick photo. Snap, snap. Okay, step down this way. Excellent work. Next one, here we go. Blackman Cycles. Big smile on the face. Oh, jump in. Come on. In you go. Jump up here. Come on in. Jump in. There you go, Breely. Jump on in too as well. Come in the front. Here we go. Breely, come around. Oh, there we go. How's that for a photo shoot? If I just move out of the way. Okay, well done to the six Brocket girls. Next up, we've got the six Brocket boys. And there's 22 riders there. So, folks at home, make sure you get all these photos. We've got the 194, Hudson Baker. We have the 207, Cody Brunton. Then we have the 58, uh, Bodhi Katana. Then we've got the 230, Thomas Grotty. The 69, Jude Duff. The 17, Matthew Jill. Oh, Gil. Then we've got Ryan Hall, the 37, Jackson Jones, the 21 machine, Ty Classens, the 97 machine, Wilford McCurbin, the 229, Cooper Murray. We also have the 504 of Richard Odgers, the 221, Mitchell Osborne, the number 11, Archer Patch, the 182 of Zane Payton, the 82 machine of Hamish Pollard, the 184 of Joe Rogers, the 487 of Liam 
Steph Luff. The 153 of Reese Stevenson. The 57 machine of Lucas Derzacker. The 918 is Isaac Sylvester. And the 32 machine of Max Van Holt. Now, all the parents come to the photo bum here, so guess what I'm going to do? Hi, guys. There we go, folks. Guys, come on in once you've got your award. Get on the podium. Smile at the camera. Smile at the parents, too, as well. Come on, guys. Come on over. Let's come and jump on. Jump up. Here we go, guys. That's it. Great work. Come on, guys. Let's come over. Over this way, buddy. Go straight across. Turn around. Keep going. Keep going, Lucas. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Great work. Excellent job here. Now, folks, it's a great work. Who wants to go there? Come around this way. Come around here, buddy. Come around, stand here. Now, folks, smile for the cameras. Congratulations to the six sprockets. Next up. Stand still, move, stand still, left, right, congratulations. Next up, we're going to have the seven Sprocket Girls. We need the 113 machine, Lacey Gray, 87 of Jackie Pigros, the 27 of Jessica Robb, the 192 of Summer Thomas, and the 231 of Jacqueline Waters. The great thing is, guys, the podium will still be here tomorrow, so if you pop back tomorrow, you can jump on the podium and get a photo too of your kid. There we go. Hey, Jackie, you can smile on the camera too as well. That's it, kids, come in. Got the profile for shot. There we go, folks. These are the seven Sprocket Girls. Next up, we're going to have the six, sorry, seven Sprockets Boys. Are we ready for the seven Sprocket Boys? But are we ready for the seven Sprocket Boys? Okay, so seven Sprocket boys we need. Thomas Alexander, thank you girls, congratulations. We've got 168 machine, Thomas Alexander. We then also have Aidan Ashcroft. You just might want to step back a little bit, mate, because you're blocking the camera. Then we have Jackson Brown, the 44, Levi Brown, number 90, the number 18, Roman Brown, the 248, Harry Shellis, the 307, Aris Dalost. The 365 of Miles Davies. The 367 of William Dis Driscoll. The 68 machine of Chase Foe. The 700 machine of Chase Foley. The 152 of Harley Fowler. The 173 of Darcy Fraser. The 16 machine of David Gill. The 244 of Lucas Hadgel. The 45 machine of Kane Hazelwood. The 277 machine of Reese Jones. The 138 there of uh, Tate Julian. The 228 of Nicholas Lowey. The World 8 of Cade McNamara. The 200 machine of Tyson Mercury. The 270 machine of Clay Nolan. The 214 of Lockie Shafter. 
the 117 of Archie Shells and the 325 of Tyler Wood. Have a look at this, folks. Come on, kids. Come on in. Get in there. There's great photos. Big smiles. Remember, the podium will be here tomorrow. So if you want to get some single foot shots of the kids, by all means, come on down. Jump on the podium. Get a big smile on the dial. That's it, guys. Jump in. Big smiles. Come on over, buddy. Okay, guys. Come this way. Come around. Go around that side. That's it. Perfect. Love your work, guys. You guys, you can sit on the grass if you want to. The guys in the front can sit down. There we go, Lockie. Come on in. Nice work. Allison, you got a nice smile on the camera, too. Look behind you. Keep going. In you go. Go down there. Go down over here. One more, buddy. Go down this way here. Down over there. Great work. These are your seven sprocket rockets, and I've never seen so many seven or iPhones in the world taking a photo at one time. I love it. Well done to the seven sprocket boys. Congratulations, kids. I hope you had a fun time. Okay, Fitz, thank you very much there. Well done there, mate. Give us a high five. Good work. Okay, folks, there we go. What a great day it's been so far today. Like I said, guys, you can come down a little bit later on. Should we pan the camera over here? I love this. The, the parents are going to go back and look at this. Okay, folks, there we go. So we've just finished the mini wheel as a Sprocket Rockets too as well. What an amazing day there. I'd love for the parents to go back and look at the foods there. It's a, it's, it's a great time for the kids. Super excited. Next up, we're now going through is with the cruisers there. We're going to start with the 8 to 10 girls cruisers. are going to make our way through the list too as well. This is where they get the 1V to the 8V plate there. So we're super excited to announce these today here. So no more delays. We're going to get firing through straight away. They're ready to go. So can we please announce the 8 to 10 girls cruises there with a 4v on the plate will be sheridan pickin with a 327 hayley stokes are heating the podium with a 6v lily corbett she takes a 2v out and the number one spot goes there today stephanie alexander these are the 8 to 10 girls cruises congratulations So there we go. Once again, we have Sheridan Picken with a 4V. Hayley Stokes with a 3V on the podium. With a 2V, Lily Corbett. And with a 1V, Stephanie Alexander. So, folks, there we go. There are your 8 to 10 girls cruisers for the 2018 state titles.
There we go, ladies. Well done there. Step on down and head to your right. Congratulations. Next up. Oh, it's good to see the, uh, the president here, Cameron Murray, having a bit of a chat. Okay, there we go. They were the 8 to 10 girls. Next up, the 8 to 10 boys. We have in 8th place, Caden Underhill. In 7th place, Tyler Hall. In 6th place goes to Harvey Brooks. In 5th place, Regan Shafter. In 4th place, Max Cass Castle. And here at the podium today at the 8 to 10 boys there. In 3rd place, Samuel Ivis. In the 2nd place, Jesse Paul. And the number 1 spot, the 1V goes to Cameron Gatz. Have a look at your champions here as they line up, folks. Make some noise. Oh, look at that great sportsmanship too. Samuel Ivers giving a, uh, a shake of the hands here. Jump on the podium, folks. So congratulations to... The 8 to 10 uh, Boys Cruisers state title plate holders for 2018. Well done to the 8 to 10 Boys. Next up we have the 11 to 12 Boys Cruisers. Okay, so folks, here we go. In eighth place, it's going to be Caden Woolley. In seventh place is Brendan Sala. In sixth place, Sebastian Fraser. In fifth place, all the way from Tassie, Max Jackson. In fourth place goes to Jai Copeland. In third place, Cade Marsh. On the podium today, in second place, William Sala. And the number one spot goes to Josh Jolly. Folks, here are your 11 to 12 boys cruisers. Congratulations to all state plate holders. So once again, folks, these are your 11 to 12 boys cruisers. State plate holders for the 2018. Thank you. Okay, folks, the next up we're going to be with the 13-14 Girls Cruisers. In seventh place goes to Tara Fitzpatrick. In sixth place, Lily Schofield. In fifth place goes to Frankie Mee Keenan. In fourth place, Sienna Richmond. Hitting the podium today, Amelia McKinnon in number three. In number two spot goes to Charley Winwood, and the number one spot goes to Courtney Ossendop. Congratulations as the girls collect their plates here for the 2018 state titles.
So I tell you what, guys, have a look at the camera here right now. So Courtney, do you want to just come on over here, have a chat? So Courtney, congratulations on the number one spot there while they're just sorting through the plates there. How has it been to be at uh, the State Tile Stadium in Victoria today? Have a look at the camera. Um, really good. Yeah. That's right, uh, lady of a few words, a bit great stuff, but you do the hard work on the track, is that correct? Yeah. And are you going to be here for the next 20 inch uh, racing tomorrow on Sunday? Yeah. Okay, we wish you all the best. Congratulations on the first spot today for the cruisers, and we'll see you tomorrow there for the 20 inch tech. All the best. Congratulations. Thank you. There we go, folks. There, let's cast over the plates there for the champions of the 13 to 14 girls cruisers. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, they are your 13 to 14 girls cruisers state plate holders. Congratulations. Okay, well done girls, congratulations, thank you. So there we go folks, yeah, great comp competition there with the uh, girls today. Next up we're going to have the 13 to 14 boys cruisers. So in 8th place we have Lucas Weber. In 7th place goes to Marcus Walker. In 6th place Ty Bastian. In 5th place goes to Dante Cooper. In fourth place goes to Rory Southwell, and he the podium today. In third place is Corey Miller. In second place is Harrison Sala. And the number one spot goes to Joel Marsh. Folks, these are your champions, state tate holders for 2018 BMXV state titles. So, ladies and gentlemen, can I cast your eyes there to the podium there for the state champions? Now, I've had a quick request too as well. Joel Marsh, you want to say a couple of words, is that correct? Okay, folks, I'm just going to jump on here. So, Joel, tell me a little about there. I'm just going to turn around. Congratulations on taking the 1V. How did you think the track was today? I was pretty good. Track's real fun, so it made for some good racing. Excellent work there. So we're going to see you back here tomorrow. In fact, we're probably going to see all these rides tomorrow here. What do you say to your competitors? Uh, yeah, the competition was really good. So good day racing. I'm keen for tomorrow. There we go, folks. Yeah, you're 13 to 14 boys cruisers. State plate holes for 2018. Okay, folks, next up we have the 15 to 16 boys cruisers. In eighth place, Ethan Dow. In seventh place, Patrick Bognar. In sixth place goes to Jordan Stewart. In fifth place, Damon Hocking. In fourth place, Kane Stewart. The number one spot, the number three spot, sorry, goes to Byron Blythe. The second spot, Daniel Samuel. And the number one spot goes to Samuel Thompson. Folks, there's your 15 to 16 boys cruisers. Now that's a challenge to get the uh, medal over Daniel Samuel's uh, hairdo. Now I must say folks here too as well, Ethan Dow had a massive race today but unfortunately came down in the final, which didn't end well there, but great work. These are your 15 to 16 boys cruisers, state plate holders, congratulations. Okay, next up we're going to have, it's a 17 to 18, boys cruisers. In fifth place goes to Jagger Govic. In fourth place, Peter Lyons. Hitting the podium today in third place, Joshua Soderman. In second place, Jacob Gamble. And the number one spot goes to Leon Helms.
There we go, folks. They are your 15 to 16, oh, sorry, 17 to 18 boys cruiser champions. Next up, we go to the women there, the 19 to 24 women, folks. So, in fourth place goes to Carly Morris. And here in the podium today, in third place, Adele Munro. Then we have, in second place, Marnie Brighton. And the number one spot goes to Kirby Stagg. These are your 19 to 29 women cruisers, state plate holders. So congratulations to the 1929 women cruiser, state plate holders. Next up we have, oh, great to see their uh, good sportsmanship there. 19 to 24 men's cruisers in third place in the podium is Ashley Gamble. In second place, Bailey Stewart. And the number one spot goes to Braden Potter. Congratulations to the 17 to 24 men's cruiser. Okay, there we go, folks. These are the 17, 20, 1924 men crews. Congratulations. Next up, we have the 30 to 34 men's cruiser. In fourth place goes to Luke Hazelwood. In third place, Matthew Ansel on the podium. In second place, Justin Lloyd. And then one spot goes to Darren Walker. Congratulations, fellas. Make your way up to grab your awards. So congratulations to the 30 to 34 men at Cruisers, state champions. Well done, fellas. Congratulations. Okay. Thanks, fellas. Next up, we have the 35 to 39 women cruiser. In fourth place goes to Rebecca Koffel. In third place, hitting the podium, Rebecca Tolman. In second place goes to Megan Harvey. And the number one spot is Kitty Cristiano. Congratulations to the 35 to 39 women's cruisers state title holders. So congratulations to the 35 to 39 women's cruisers. Congratulations, ladies. Next up, folks, we have the 35 to 39 men's cruisers there. In eighth place goes to Troy Crampton. In seventh place, Luke Duff. Sixth place goes to Nathan Bowles. In fifth place, we have Adam Ahern. In fourth place is going to go Corden McRae. And here in the podium today, in third place is Jason Hall. In second place, Brian Slater. And then one spot goes to Robert Slater. These are your state holder champions for the 35 to 30 men's cruiser.
Now, there's a challenge there for the Camerons there. You've got uh, Robbie Slater and uh, Brian Slater. They're both brothers. Congratulations to the 40 to, sorry, 35 to 39 men's cruisers, state title holders. Right on, fellas. Next up, we're going to have the 40 to 44 women's cruiser. So, folks, in fifth place goes to Amy Main. In fourth place, Katrina Bennett. And here in the podium today, in uh, third place, is Maris Melissa Graham. Then we have, in second place, Tess Anderson. And the number one spot goes to Emily Richardson. Congratulations to the ladies. So, ladies and gentlemen, can uh, have a look at the podium there. So, the 40 to 44 women cruisers, state title holders for 2018. So, folks, there we go. Next up, we have the 44 men's cruisers. And in eighth place goes to Ashley Morris. In seventh place goes to Grant Hines. In sixth place, Glenn Main. In fifth place, Matthew French. In fourth place, Pierre Lodajenski. In third place in the podium today is going to be John Kirby. In second place goes to Simon Ayres. And the number one spot there goes to Kamal Lord. Folks, these are your 40 to 40 more men cruisers state champions. So, folks, these are your 40 to 44 men champions for the 2018. So, folks, we're still not done yet. They're going to move through to the 45 to 49 women's cruisers. In fourth place, she had an off, but she came back to finish off the race. There goes to Tanya Mundy. In third place in the podium is Tammy Davis. In second place, interesting enough there, she's only been riding for around about 12 months there, but tell you what, in second place, Eliza Flanagan. And the number one spot goes to Rebecca Smith. Folks, these are your champions for 2018 for the 45 to 49 women. So congratulations to the 45 to 49 women cruiser. Okay, folks, next up we have the 45 to 49 men's cruisers there. In eighth place goes to Sean Collins. In seventh place, Scott Timpson. In sixth place, Damien Woolchuck. In fifth place, Rudy Perissoni. In fourth place, Adrian Bogner. And here in the podium today, in third place, Shane Jenkins. In second place, Craig Woolchuck. And the number one spot goes to Glenn Surridge. Folks, these are your champions for 45 to 49 men's. Cruisers 2018.
Now, folks, we might have to get the step ladder. Should we get the step ladder? No, he's going to jump up. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, they are your 45 to 49 men's cruisers for 2018 state plate holders. Well done, fellas. Okay, folks, next up we have the 50 plus men's cruisers. So the men's cruise here, in eighth place we have Andrew Simmons. In seventh place, Robert Vandalist. In sixth place goes to Patrick O'Gallahan. In fifth place, Lance Mahuka. In fourth place, Jeffrey Burrell. In third place, hitting the podium is Greg Kelly. In second place, Wayne Jolly. And the number one spot goes to Dave Compot. Congratulations to the 50 plus men cruisers. So, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the 50-plus men's cruisers. Can you get up there? Dave Compot. Your Comport, I should say. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are your 50-plus men's cruisers. State plate holes for 2018. Okay, folks, next up we're going to have the Retro Class Junior. So in eighth place, we have Kai Stevenson. In seventh place, it's going to be Link Lincoln Bettany. And then, by the way, happy birthday, Bettany. You've kept that in the wraps there. Congratulations. I hope you had an amazing birthday today. Lincoln Bettany, congratulations. Next up we have, in sixth place, Casey Patterson. In fifth place goes to Lachlan Booby. In fourth place, Jet Tortel Carras. And here in the podium today, in third place, is Samuel Todd. The number two spot goes to Logan Lazaridis. And the number one there is going to be Marcus Walker. These are your retro. Eight to 13 junior retro. Congratulations to all riders. Now, folks, there's always going to be surprise somewhere. And we love surprises, don't we? Okay. Now, Lucas Bentney, is that correct? Is this you? Is it your birthday today? Yeah. Mate, wish you a happy birthday. Congratulations on having a great day. I might just cut down here. So, how did you go racing today? Oh, uh, good. Are you going to be back tomorrow too as well? Yep. Awesome. Man. So, I'm going to tell you what, the 7V rider, I know there's some great riders up here too as well, but happy birthday, mate. All the best for the tomorrow too as well. So, folks, these are your junior retro classes. Once again, on the number one spot is Marcus Walker. Well done to all those riders. Okay, folks, there we go. We're nearly rounded off there. Next up we're going to have is a retro, 14 to 29. In eighth place goes to Amelia Patterson. In seventh place, Aiden Fitzpatrick. In sixth place goes to Jagger Govic. In fifth place, Harry Schofield. In fourth place, Nick Seal. In third place, Mitchell Ord. Hitting on the podium today. In second place, Corey Stasma. And the number one spot goes to Sam Thompson. Folks, these are your retro champions for 2018. They're the 14 to 29. So congratulations to the champions there for the 1429. They're big smiles in the fires. They've got the shiny bikes. <laughs> so 
So well on there to the Retro Riders. Next up, we've got two more to go. The 30 to 39 Retro Riders. We have in fourth place, Matthew Ansel. In third place, Braden Levanti. In second place, Gordon McRae. So they're hitting the podium there as well. And in the one spot goes to the local boy, Luke Pretlove. Congratulations to your 30 to 39 Retro Champions for 2018. So congratulations, there we go, to the 30, retro 30 to 39, state plate holders for 2018. Okay, folks, we're just about to round off the presentation here. The last one to go, the Retro 40 Plus. So, folks, in eighth place goes to Danny Booby. In seventh place, Trevor Weber. In sixth place goes to Ashley Grange. In fifth place, Darren Stevenson. In fourth place, Adam Glanville. He, the number one third spot there, is going to be Al Alistair Scott. In second place, Neil Searle. And the number one spot goes to Darren James. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are your retro riders. Congratulations to all those riders of 40 plus. Now, before you go anywhere, apparently, folks, I'm just going to mosey you on over here. Are we taking photos? Well, we will have. So, guys, I've just got here Neil Seal there. So, believe it or not, there we didn't show this on the live stream. There, they actually did it on a lap there for a, a fallen rider in the retro class there. So. Neil, you just want to say a couple of words and read the cause and what happened. We didn't catch it on camera, so I apologise, but uh, you can say a couple of words. I just want to really thank BMXV for allowing us to do the um, parade lap. Um, it means a lot to uh, the guys here. Uh, Brendan's a good mate of ours, and uh, he's having a really hard time of it. So uh, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Stay strong, Brendan. There we go. A lot of support there for Brendan there. Congratulations, folks. There, Well done to the uh, Retro 40+. plus.